How's it going, people? No <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. technicals whatsoever. No, Everything's calm. I, I was Chill. watching all that unfold. I know they got about fifty percent of the intro. Max. They get, maybe maybe twenty percent of the intro. They got thirty five percent of the intro. You lot are stupid if you think they've tuned in <laughs> for the intro. Like you lot are off your nut if you think today's audience is in for the intro. Please. <laughs> Do you see certain faces on the screen and you think they're here for intro? Come on, man. Don't doubt my technicalities, man. That happens. Listen, people, you're locked in. Welcome back to the big six. <laughs> the show that everyone's been waiting for tonight. Um, Since people, this morning. People, people that there's over... My 11, brother Lee. 1,100 of you in here already. You know what I mean? There's some mad emojis going off in the chat, but I ain't got time to handle that today. I've got enough on my plate. People, hit that like button <laughs> as you enter. Once you're here, if you haven't hit the, the like button on your entry, still like it. If you don't like some of our opinions, still like it. If you love our opinions, still like it. You get the drift. Like the stream, and then we keep it moving. Of course, of course, Big Boss Man Turkish is on tour with the famous Gunners. Gunners on tour. You know what I mean? <laughs> so Why we have to get... There? So we, Who? Why are you not there? Because I'm hosting, in it? Second... <laughs> You know what I mean? So, so Bruce Tucker had to host. <laughs> doing a good job, man. Doing a very good job, man. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. But obviously, we've got the usual faces there. Of course, Daps is a usual face as well. Now, Daps back in the building. Daps, hope Thanks you keep it warm, my brother. I'm good. Big up, Daps. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good, 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 good. good. good and I don't know. It might be his debut. If I'm, it if is. it's not, I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Slap me in the face. But, but a personal friend of... Ours, I was going to say mine, but he's a personal friend of all of us. First and foremost, welcome, welcome to the big six, Mr. Lee Gunner himself. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Big up to you guys and to Turkish um, as well for the invite. Big up to everyone in the chat as well. This chat's going mad already. And um, <laughs> this is the best show on the on the platform, by the way. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, if, I watch it every single week. Mm. Yeah, I don't always comment. Because if Lee's saying that, people, <laughs> if Lee Gunner is saying that, you know it's serious, man. Man like Lee Gunner, who's yeah, that's funny, who's, man. You, you're not a joke, I swear. Like, who's a legend in himself, legend in himself, saying that that's that's massive, man. We're humbled by Lee saying that. But people, we got it's a lot tonight. It's a lot. We got a lot to get through. I don't even know where to start. Usually Turkish has an agenda and knows where he's going and how he's going to operate this. I haven't got a clue. First, I need to start making a note of these super chats because, you know, we've got to thank people for the super chats. You know how we do. But listen, <laughs> people, I don't even know which brother's confident enough to start with. Not confident, but which I think, Saeed, realistically, yeah, yeah. we can start with you today because it's normally it's calm. Normally we try to build it up and oh. you don't want to talk about your team. But it looks like nah, you nah, lot, we've got energy, energy now. We've got energy. No, no, you got energy. Energy. Energy, bro. Oh, you, you see won... it, you see it first. Yeah, yeah, we you know your me? energy, bro. You you mm. won the league that night. You won nah, the league nah. that night, bro. But that energy. <laughs> listen, listen, sick. listen, by the way, yeah. I'm telling you. You need to stop commenting on United when they're playing, man. Like, let us enjoy what we're trying to see right now instead of mocking certain players. No, 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 no. Save no, tweets, no, no, like, no, 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 so yeah, yeah, talk on it. Yeah. Talk on it. Who? This guy, <laughs> Grizz, yeah. Let me tell you something about Grizz, yeah. He's very, very salty, you know. Like, let us enjoy. Whoa, let us enjoy. Man. Well, a holo, well, a holo. What do you mean, and man? I'm very enjoy. salty, man. I'm a football man. I hate your club. I'm allowed to speak on your club. That, no, you know, no, I mean, no, I hate no, you. no. You're my rival. While I was tweeting, while I was watching the game, and I was on the watch along, I was like, yo, listen, Grizz is taking a mic, mate. I was like, hold on a minute. Let me go check this. And I see Grizz taking screenshots. And I'm like, yo, listen, just, you're not, you're not, you're not enjoying said, this. All I said is, people, listen, my time was filled of Man United fans, right, celebrating, like, mm. mad, like, the, the dream, you know, show a bit more patience, we're nearly there, all that business. Look, I'm I'm excited for you, but listen, cut the banner. Look, I'm the host today, you understand? I'm not here to gash you up today or banner with you. So I'm mm. going to try to be neutral as I can. Good luck with that. But... Talk to me, man. It's energy, positive vibes. You can't. Yeah, go positive, wrong. man. I get, I get, I get. You've changed your stance a little bit. You've been promoting the new Saeed. Like you're yeah, not. Yeah, new Saeed, not, new Saeed. Yeah, your new Saeed, new beginnings. Mm. You're not about that clip life anymore. Yeah, no more clip yeah, yeah. life. Yeah, talk yeah, to us. How's your oh, preseason? Talk, so <laughs> talk, yeah, yeah. talk to us. How's your preseason been so far, man? Listen, it's been good, man. It's, we're on vacation, isn't it? So I'm on vacation mode. So anything that happens in preseason stays in preseason, isn't it? So if I get giddy. If I get a bit excited, 
it stays in pre-season. That's all I say. I'm just enjoying the moment, innit? So any mm. fans that are coming at me and saying, let's say it's only pre-season, it's only this. All I'm trying to say to you is that I've not seen good football for the last, what, five years? And it's step by step for us. And it's understanding that we've got a new manager now who has a strong philosophy, a strong way of playing. And the players, until now, are showing that they can listen to the manager. I know it's like, it's not rocket science for for any kind of professional footballer to not be listened to a manager. But, you know, we haven't done that for a while. And now we've got a manager now that are getting the best out of certain players. And we're starting to see an identity, starting to see some sort of rhythm. Okay, it's not complete. But I'm excited, man. Certain players are shining. Certain players are performing way over their kind of like expected level. Say it. Say so name. I can't lie, man. Say it. Say it. Just say it, man. Say what? Say who, who you're talking say, about, bro. You know we know easier. you want to talk on something. You talk might have so it, rattled about certain no, players No, I'm not. Like, no, I think you should talk on it. Real talk. I what? ain't said like, nothing say, bad yet. Talk on Martial's it. shining. Sancho is shining. You know what I mean? Um, who else is shining? Malassia is playing good. You get me? Dalo shining. You know what I mean? Certain men are, are shining more than others. But we're fluid, man. I'm not going to kind of like like put certain names out there. I'm just more about the team in it. And as a team, we're functioning well. And that's all that matters now. Like I said, hopefully we'll have a, a new signers coming in. But right now, the, 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 the young situation is not formalised. We've not got Ericsson on tour. Lissandro Martinez is in there. And we're playing as a team now. So I can only be positive about the situation. I'm not going to get carried away with myself. And start doing no, 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 you're not. No, no, you're not. You're, you're not. not. This is new Saeed now. I'm being yeah, yeah. serious now. Everybody's listening. Right I'm now. gonna. I'm gonna. This before... is the PR Saeed this season. No, no, this is not. No, 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 no. Leave, leave, leave. no before, <laughs> before, before I let the, before I, I let the, before I let the hounds. I mean, sorry. Before I let the rest of them at you, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. just quickly dunk my biscuit, yeah, and then ask you my question. Uh, custard cream, basic, basic custard cream. We're going back to basic stuff. Oh, okay. so Why are you still wearing this? It's raining outside. I just because he's just... Like, no, no, he, he hasn't left the golf course. And, and he, he hasn't left the golf course. He's leaving the cap on to, to the next to the next stint. You're, you're um, a brave brother. You're a brave brother, Matisse. Brave, brave brother. You mentioning golf. You're a brave brother. <laughs> you're brave. I didn't want to raise it, but we're going to come to that later on. Mention Air Forces. It's fine. I'm going to, I'm going to quickly ask you my question about Man United. And I'm going to let the brothers... I'm going to let the brothers handle it after that. What's the main difference that you've seen in the in the two is it two games in the two games? Yeah. The main difference that gives you a bit of light at the end of the tunnel, like you're obviously seeing. What's the main difference? And then over think, to you I guys. Think, I th yeah, I think it's a style of play that w w w everybody's l looking more comfortable on the ball. I think Ten Hag is telling a lot of the players to play to feet in terms of passing out from the back. A lot of players are now being comfortable with that. There's a lot more kind of active pressing going on now. There's, there's, there's a style now. There's a substance to the way we're playing. And I think for me, we've not had that. You know what I mean? Oligan Social, I called it Oligan Freestyle. Ragnick, they didn't want to play for him. You know, I know that Gegen Press failed, didn't it? You know what I mean? I'm not going to kind of come here and say there was Gegen Press, but it wasn't. Right now, we can see that we're seeing a lot of what Tenag's wanted from the manager and wanted from the players, sorry. And it's small baby steps, don't get me wrong, but I can see a clear identity in the way we're trying to play. Like, if you look at the goal, I think it was for Rashford. He played out from the back, mm. played it across Martial. Donny came on the outside. Rashford came in the centre of the pitch to put the tap in. It's clear. It's, it's from the training. And it, and now, and a lot of people will say, well, it's only Crystal Palace. It's only, you know, this play. But you've got to, you've got to have this pre-season now. And then when it comes to the Brighton game, we should be able to see that more fluidly. So I think for me, it's, it's small steps, but I'm starting to see a clear kind of vision of what Ten Hag wants to play and, what the what now he expects from the players? There's a clear demand, you know. I don't know if you see them guys shouting at certain players and not picking up certain. The De Gea, De Gea. Let's say, no, say no, it. no, 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 no. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I, wanna I saw one time that. he hoofed it. He got in trouble. It's like, I know. No, no, no. He's been doing it a good job. I saw it one wasn't. time. One, one time. Matisse, 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 stop me there because you need to go <laughs> rewind the tape. It's Charlie. It's not David. Again. I know people want to believe Twitter hype and all that, but if you actually listen to it, it says Charlie because he doesn't go and able to receive the ball. He has to be in a certain position to receive the ball, and that's why he was shouting at him. But like I said, I don't want to waffle on and, and get people bored yet, but I'm just happy in it. Like, and don't damn me if I'm happy because at the end of the day, when the season comes on, then you might see a different me. So for now, I'm still enjoying it, man. It's just pre-season mode, isn't it? You don't get too gassed and you don't look at it from a different perspective, isn't it? Like just enjoying it, isn't it? You know what I'm saying I'm gonna come to that. I'm gonna come to Daps first before you guys want to ask anything that you want to ask. Daps, you said something about to say, say speak on it, speak on it, yeah, or Marshall, speak on him. Marshall, what no, no, why Marshall, do you Marshall. what made you think what made you think that 
that's the one that they want to speak about. Like, would you, well, would you, would you, because why did you say that? It's obvious, bro. I run never a foul with one of the like founders of Marshall FC. Yeah. Like me and him have gone back and forth and he's always thought I have this agenda against Marshall. I never have. All I've ever said is don't settle for mediocrity. Yeah. I have. I grew up. I I've got that. No, bro, well, to be fair, <laughs> but, but here's the <laughs> thing. This is what I've said on Marshall. Yeah. Is he's Man's always had Marshall. Mar <laughs> bro, my, my, my pronunciations of words. Yeah, but these man's I'm call so him English, bro. Yeah, these man's so call him English. Tony, so same thing in it. If, you yeah, know what I mean? True, Tony true. and Marshall. Tony Marshall, innit? Yeah. Marshall, yeah. But, but what it is, is yeah, he's always had excuses since he's been at Man United, whether it be the manager, whether it be the atmosphere at the club. But last season, he got loaned out and had a stinker, yeah? So the fact Ten Hag's brought him back and it's World Cup year and at the moment, is he, is he going to get a place? Possibly not, yeah? So... Ultimately, his whole career is on him, yeah? It's on Tony, right? And if, if we're honest, he is behind Ronaldo, their most clinical. Uh, he's probably the best driving forward with the ball. Unfortunately, got compared to Henri, so he was fucked from day one because you can't do that. That's why we all went for him. This is the, If we're real, the reason why people go for Trent is because of the, the weight people put on Trent. But... I will say, this is the first time he's got a manager that I feel actually like... Anyone seen that picture of him walking out of the hotel and Ten Hag's in his ear talking to him? It's the first time it does look like there's actually a manager that is trying to coach him, yeah? So I, I'm not against, against Martial. I just think he's never performed to a certain level for Man United. If he does, he does, isn't it? Like, I still... Let me be very clear. I'm still not going to be remotely worried about Manchester United, but at the moment, he's looking good. He's looking good. And I'm in a very comfortable place with my team that I can come on and talk about Man United players looking all right, and it's, it's fine. So that's why I said talk on him. You should talk on him. He's been your best player during pre-season. Chris, can I just say one thing to you? And I, I, I haven't got it to share it, but did you, did you tweet some things before the Man United game and then delete them? Me? Delete? I don't what are you know, fucking someone... with me for? You know, what are you fucking with me for? Oh, mm. Have you got screenshots? Have you got screenshots? I'm trying to excuse. You know what it is, yeah? I love, I, love, I, love, I love this Man City, Man United, Liverpool thing because you two hate each other more so I can just sit in the middle and just throw little yeah. shots. Well, we, so need, we need screenshots, man. I'm trying to find them. No, 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 no. You know me, I'm real. I'll say how it is. Go on. I might have deleted it if it was badly, like, mistaken or wrong, like, factually. But what was it? That's what I'm trying to get. It was in a group chat. I, I will admit it was a Man United. It was a Trafford Ooh. Tunnel group chat. But I'm trying to get them. So send it, man. People... Send it, man. Send it to me. Don't worry. By the end of the show, and if not, I will come on and formally apologise. Send apologize it to me, them. man. Send it to me, man. You know what I mean? Just send it to me, man. He's sweating. He's con... sweating. Let me, con... Let me confirm it, innit, brother? <laughs> but listen, um, what are you guys saying? Tobes, uh, Lee, Matisse? I, I, want to ask, I want to ask him a question. I want to ask Saeed a question because mm -hmm. yeah, our yeah. fans, um, now Lissandro Martin is a sign for you, have said he's too small, um, yeah. which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, by the way, because um, yeah. I'm pretty sure Cannavaro was about the same height. Exactly. Um, I'm pretty yeah. sure Cazorla, who played for us, was smaller. Um, yeah. The greatest footballer of all time is smaller, Leo Messi. Yeah. Um, well, apparently, you can't be any good at football if you're small. Um, it's Arsenal fans, isn't it, man? Well, what, what, do you, what do you make of him like, as a signing? Because... People are gonna be <laughs> on him all the time now. I swear they are gonna why, be while Lee's because Lee's mentioned that I'm just gonna quickly get the super chat out of the way because I was gonna try to make them relevant. The super chats, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're gonna be on his case. case. Lissandro is a baller. I don't want to hear heightest comments from Toby Grizz and Ma. If you want taller than Lissandro, shush. If your height starts with a five, shush. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Mm. What, what, what was that comment? What, why, why am I in a comment for? I haven't even just, spoken. Just, I've just, maybe because the Chelsea fans have talked about Lissandro Martinez. I have not said but anything about Lissandro's weight. I've not even said a thing about Lissandro. Yeah. But, but, on, but let's, talk about, let's talk about what Lee's brought You sound mad insecure, my brother. So, so you asked me the question, right? I, I think for me, this, this high obsession in, in, in the game now, when the game's more than ever played, played on the floor, I think, you know, there's not many kind of like teams that have, a, there's only like Chris Wood, but they're, they're few or far between that. Lump the ball up the top and play some analyzed football. I think if you look at his actual defending, like he's aggressive. And I think for me, aggression, his stance, the way he kind of like, you know, monopolizes the ball and kind of attempts for it. For me, you know what I mean? Then you could have a guy who's tall, but then doesn't have that same leap. So I don't know what, what people are saying, you know what I mean? And then Chelsea are buying Kunde. I'm sure they're similar height, so... I don't know. I think the game's evolved, Lee, and this this high obsession for me is, is weird, man. But then again, 
if Arsenal fans got him, you know, would they be talking about this? So it's uncomfortable no, well, questions, he, isn't he, it? He's versatile, yeah. mate. He can play in three positions. So exactly. the versatile is the buzzword for Arsenal fans this summer. Yeah. So, I don't yeah, know. Man, maybe, you know I mean? maybe we didn't have enough verses. Okay, calma, calma, calma. Okay, calma, calma. That is true, though, isn't it? Because there's Arsenal fans who've been chatting the most, isn't it? Like, we're not as soon we're as they're not linked with section. a player. No, but hold on a bit. As soon as they're not linked with a player, they, 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 they call him this, they call him that. Like, what, what, where's the energy when you when you were literally linked with him? Like, I don't the understand is, these Arsenal fans, man. They're weird, the man. Is, the thing is, like, mm. we can't just pretend that Lissandro is some slouch. Like, he's he's got that bite. He's got that Argentinian bite in him. And when you've watched... He's got that dog in him. got that dog in him, yeah. When, you watch, when you've watched clips of um, of him actually play, you can see why Ten Hag has bought him. Ten Hag hasn't bought him to be, to be punching up Dominic Carver little week in, week out. Ten Hag has bought him so he can play with the ball out from the back comfortably. And that's the thing he excels in when you watch the evidence of what he's done in Ajax. We now need to see him come and replicate those same qualities in the Premier League and see if he can do it to that same level of effectiveness. But the hype thing, I think you're just going to have to take it, man. Like, Man United mm. saying don't mention his hype. How can you not mention his hype? Because there will be some games where, mm. where he will get yeah. targeted. There will be some games. It's the and, way it's emphasized, Toby. It's yeah, the way it's, it's kind of exactly. like... It's overly emphasized. It's overly emphasized, emphasized, it's emphasized yeah. but you can't just ignore it because th there are some no, no, teams, no, teams... There are some teams that play that style and they might try and catch him out. And he's not going to be the first or last defender I, to be I've beaten there really. I can, I can give a few opinions on that as well, my opinions, but I don't know. I'll firstly, obviously, anyone else want to share their opinions? I was just going to say... If, the if reason... it's an issue, it should be an issue or... You know, anything else that you want to speak about on the height the, stage? The, re the reason it's being emphasised is because United are emphasising the fact that he chose us, uh, Man United over Arsenal, if, if we're being real. If, if you're not got really. rubbing that in there. Well, it is. It is. That's not why they're really, coming Not you. really, man. I, mean, I think it okay. came the other way. I think it came the other way. I think it's, as soon as it was it was going to United, that's when the saltiness came in. That's when... Well, it's <laughs> this and it's this. That's when it came. Let's be real, man. Daps, come on. You can, you can think. No, you know up. what? I, I would ask Lee. Way, I would man. ask Lee, but I'm not sure which side Lee's going to be on. So I'm going to ask Lee. Lee. <laughs> like at the end, the end of the day, it, we we were we were linked to him. Everyone was hyping him. He was the greatest exactly. centre back in living history. He can play yeah. centre central defensive midfield. See, he can Lee's play left that back. <laughs> yeah, he's versatile. He can play with the ball at his feet. He's called the butcher. So it, it, like that. Uh, Bulk up our defense. I mean, to, yeah. to, to, wasn't no, I mean, Torreira called something like that as well? To be fair, then he started crying, and it was just... <laughs> but then, but then, as soon as he, as soon as Man United fly, fly out to, to um, Amsterdam, all of a sudden, oh no, we don't want him. We have got better targets. Exactly, targets. we've duped mm -hmm. them into paying over the odds for him. <laughs> this I mean, what is what I mean, yo. You want, man? Come on, well, so you're this telling me I mean. a multi-million, multi-billion pound organization football club, yeah, in Man United Facts. and Arsenal. Arsenal have duped that into buying that. Okay, it don't. It, it, these people love a story, man. Yeah, let's live in the reality world, like the real world. Right? <laughs> At the end of the day, it's true though. Wanted him, yeah, yeah. And Man United it's got true, him. Though. <laughs> no, anyway, no, 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 I'm not saying nothing. I'm not yeah, saying yeah. nothing. I'm a host with the most. Matisse Tobes, anything to to add to that or subtract from that, as the case may be? Ah. I think it's Arsenal fans being Arsenal fans, right? Um... That's what I mean. It's, 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 it, and to be honest, it's not just Arsenal. Because I think because when when no, but the, what when, I meant when was the, any thoughts on the or any thoughts on the player himself? Like we're gonna get onto. Oh Arsenal. yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I've already mentioned. I, I think I've mm, given player. my take on Lisandro. I've not watched him enough to 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 comment on how good he is in comparison to other players. But from what I've watched, like the compilations and some of the previous clips and games that he's played, and from what I've read, the guy looks looks like he can do the job that Ten Hag needs him to do on the ball anyway. So let's see what he can do in the league. Because I think talk is one thing. We actually need to see how he actually comes and performs. So let's see. I bet he wins league. more headers this season than Ben White. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I sure. bet he does. Listen, I, I, I ran the statistics, do you know what I mean? As a nerd. Should oh, I yeah. He's not even that bad in the air. He's fantastic. No, because really, he's so statistically, he's, tiny, statistically, he's apparently no good in the air. That's what statistically, yeah. his, his 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 aerial duels in Edovizi was seventy one percent. So even if that drops by ten or fifteen percent, that's still that's better than Ben Wax. That's matching yeah. up to a lot of centre backs in the league at the moment, anyway. So, yeah. uh, by my calculations, I don't see a problem. Do you know what I mean, even if he plays. Talk DM, that talk, nerd. You know, if he plays DM, I wouldn't be surprised to see him in a pivot, <laughs> offer a little bit of balance to the other more advanced midfielders that they have, maybe a Fred or whoever mm. plays in a pivot with him. He can obviously play left back. I think it's a 
I think it's a good sign. And Ten Hag knows him as well, so he's not going to misuse him. You know, he, if anything, he's bringing in players that understand his point. philosophy, mm. understand his identity, yeah. and then he's the they're, they're the the players. Ericsson, they're the players. They're the mouthpieces when they come onto the pitch now to instruct and to help that that system and philosophy get get to the the level that it needs to be faster. Because it can take a year to implement, or it can take maybe a month or two months, depending on if you've got the right players stylistically and obviously, you know, players that actually understand the way that you want to play. And that's what he's doing. So people will say, why do you keep bringing in players from Ajax? But at the end of the day, he's already got a whole new team to work with. He needs to bring in players that understand what he wants from, from the team. And that's that's the quickest way to get his philosophy because it's all about systems. So I think he's a great sign. And I'm just, I'm just intrigued to see how he does. Um, but I, I, listen, it's about time Manchester United, first of all, started buying some some technical players that actually know how to play football and actually right. have a system in place as well. Because now, I, yeah, listen, you don't want to get too ahead of yourself with pre-season, but I've seen some of the, the goals scored and I ain't never seen my United score goals like that in like three years. So <laughs> that's that's already an improvement. And everybody knew that once Man United got a serious manager that knew how to coach a team, they would start to actually play football. They're, they're going from the, the ground up. So, and, and they're in an advantage where they don't actually have a lot of pressure on them, I don't think, to make top four because they know they're in it for the long haul. At least they, no, no, they no, no, should no, no, no. know. Hey, they should know. They should know. Let, let, they let, should know. Let's calm, on, let's calm on that one. The Man United fans may not have the expectation on Ten Hag. They're going to give him time. But from the wider audience, there is yeah. absolutely, there is absolutely the expectation that they should be getting well, well, because they spent mm. they, no 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 wait 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 they spent sixty five million already. They brought three players in. If they mm. get Frankie De Young, that's going to be another seventy five million. I, I don't top. know about him. I, yeah, I, I, no, I'm saying well, if, they, if but if, but to be fair, Toby, everybody no, 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 spending. No, no, no. Everybody I spending. I don't care about ifs or buts. They're, the, they're if, great, Man United. They're Man United. Um, okay, but you it have depends to, on the manner. Toby, Toby, Toby bro, bro. Yeah, yeah, you me, have let to. Me, you let, have... Me, let me let me land, Matisse. Let me land. Okay, what I'm land, saying land, is, land, what, land, I'm, what I'm saying, yeah, what I'm saying is, there is absolutely a need and necessity for them to for them to get top four. It may not seem so for the Man United fans, but absolutely behind the scenes, Man United are targeting. They targeting. Champions League qualification this season. Mm. Of course, everyone is told. But, but, I, but everybody is. I think. Everybody I think is. They, I think they could they could go down the Europa League route and win that, and it would be definitely suffice for sure. But my point is, I don't think if Boy. you're putting if you're putting pressure on a club to make top four, I'd say Arsenal under Arteta under more pressure. Mate, Arsenal need to get. There's there's no yeah. there's no way Chelsea can fall out. There's no way you lot can fall out. So there's only <laughs> so many slots. But that's a that's a different question though. Really. And all those teams have spent money. But that's a different. That's a different point, though. Okay. Good over there, there's Chris. Only, there's, some only, there's only four some of those, slots, teams, bro. Some of those teams have more pressure, yes, but they have pressure. They definitely yeah, have. They, they have pressure, have but I don't they think it's make or break. That's get, my they, point. They have pressure to get into a top four. Absolutely. Yeah, because if, it's if, they, if, they get, if they don't get top four this season, maybe not. In what, in what sense do you say that, Toby? Is it make or break, or is it just it's a disappointment? That's the thing. That's it's not make or break, though. It's not make. How how are we sitting here? Listen, I try to stay out. Why does it have to be make and break? Because because it is make or break for Arteta. And it yep. should be my yeah, yeah, but, for but, our managers. But the point well. was, but the, the reason why I objected is you said that there's no pressure on them to get top four. And I'm objecting. No, 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 yes, no. but in comparison, I'm object- Toby, in comparison, there's I'm no object- there's not- I don't care about in comparison. There is absolutely- bro, there's pressure on everybody. Bro. I, I, no, no, bro. There's absolutely pressure. They need to get back into the top four. Otherwise, what's there's the pressure from Lee. 100%. They need to get back into the top four. So what am I hearing here? If they don't finish in the top four, years ago. Season, it's going to be another poor... I think, think, think Toby's spot positive. on here. Yeah. They I may think take Toby's positive from what Ten Hag has done. The nature of how his construction is think. Arsenal last season, Arsenal last season, apparently weren't expected to get top four and they bottled top four at the end. Okay, yeah, they played better football. Yeah, they scored better goals, etc. etc. They, they brought in better players, but it was still a disappointment. So why so you, are you judging it on just the money United? spent rather than the actual progress a team makes and I'm where judging, a team I'm is in time of transition? It, what are you judging it, by, it on? I'm judging it by the manager you've brought in because you, you ain't brought in a schmuck. You brought in a guy who's highly renowned. I'm judging it by the money you're going to spend in the window and I'm judging it by your club's objectives. So you should be targeting top four this season. Absolutely. Yes, of course they of course should be targeting are. it. That's always so, the so my, so my, my, so my point. Is, my, is my point is my point is you saying they have there's no pressure. No, on because that because you're saying you're, because you're, you're making it you're making it sound like it's make or break or they will be judged based on that. There's other things that they'll be judged on. Brother, quality that's of not football, what I said. That's quality not what I said. You said so, you, but, brother, you literally said there's no pressure on Man United. And there isn't. I don't think there is pressure. If they try to go for it, but I don't think there's pressure. There's not the same pressure there is. Yeah, but yeah, but there's not the same pressure. There should be pressure. There should be pressure. Why there should be pressure. It's Man United. There should be pressure. What are you talking about? 
it's no, Man United. Pre- I can't say there's no same energy, Lee. You're no, right. No, same no, energy. No, no, every there, club. There was, there was yeah. pressure on Conte to get top four last year with a squad that wasn't good enough. Why would there not be pressure? On no, can, can I answer to the question, Toby? Quick, think, shout think, to this, quick, quick shout out to this pussy. I think, I I think yeah, I think it's a misunderstanding. Why are you focusing on that, man? Because you don't need to focus on that. Because he can. It's his day today. He can if he wants to. I can't wait to give him a shout out. I'll give him a shout out. He wants a shout out. I think Saeed knows what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I know. Me and Matisse are on the same level. Can I just, before you read that comment out, I think it's just understanding where a club's at. I think for us right now, it's having a style of play, it's having an ethos, it's having a culture of a football club and changing the wild. way we do that. If you look at Man United, get away with this chat. This no, is wild. No, again, Tommy. again, again, you're not hearing me out. You're just, you're just jumping okay, I'm going to hear you out. Man. I'm going to hear you out. Of course, we want top four. Again, Toby, I've just said that to you. I want top four, but for me, it's not going to be a car crash if we don't. Does that, does that, make, does that make sense to you? No, that makes sense because you're a Man United fan. You, yeah. after what you see, yeah. in the past okay, okay, years, okay, okay. You are, you are going to give, you are yeah, going to yeah, give yeah. Ten Hag cool. patience. But what I get I'm what saying you mean. Is, as a club, absolutely, there is pressure to get top four. Absolutely, of course. And from what I fan, bro, I want. That's what I'm <laughs> listen, everybody that's what I'm has expectations. I'm saying I'm, I'm talking, I'm yeah. talking wildly, right and cool. that's why I'm getting a bit irate. Because it's, yeah, it sounded yeah. like what I'm saying doesn't make sense. The way you it said it, though, does. the way you constructed it wasn't. No, no, no. I think I constructed iffy. it perfectly fine. Grizz on the I don't know. I don't know. So did I don't know about that one. So did Daps. Why is everyone saying that one PR spin? Listen, bro, we have a manager. <laughs> know, let, me just t- let me just take my time, man. Why is everyone thinking I'm going to start calling you. I'm going to start, I'm gonna start calling you. Don't get mad. I'm going to start calling you Praid now, Saeed, yeah? Because this is a PR. You've become one of them top reds that you were banging on about under Oli now, isn't it? That's what it is. You're a top red. He, he did say you're going to see a new Saeed, to be fair. No, 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 it's not. You know what it is, yeah? Because for me, I'm just trying to understand first of... It's baby steps, man. Like, let us play good football and then let's build our kind of... Why should I just say straight away top four? Like, stri- no, no, I to be it, fair, to be four. fair, I understand what you're saying, Saeed, yeah? You but you're Man United. You're Man United and you've got uh, so much money to spend. Yes, it's Yes, it's been a complete car crash for the last God knows how many years. But you're still Man United. You've still got of the income. Course. You've still got the money to spend. You've got a decent manager now. You've got a squad that is half good. Yeah, and you're adding players to that half good. You've got players that are, that have not performed, that are starting to perform in pre-season. Exactly and they now right. in the season. Man United should be targeting trophies every season. It's Man United. Nobody's not saying that, Lee, though. I didn't say that. But I said, for me, it's not going to be a car crush if we don't get top four. That, for me, if I see good football, a, a different style of play, culture, everything that's in, that we haven't had for the last 10, we've had top four, we've had second position, hasn't mean anything. Bro, What's this, it this mean? is what I'm talking about, right? This is where there's a misunderstanding. This is why there's a misunderstanding. For yeah. me, there should be more pressure on Manchester United to win a trophy than Facts. to make top four. I'm with you. Right? And, and to add to that, the reason why I said I don't think there's pressure is more, let's say, forget Manchester United. I don't think there's pressure on Ten Hag because we all know it's a three-year project at a minimum. So if he doesn't make it, my point is he's not getting sacked. Whereas Arteta doesn't make it, different conversation. Mm. That's why I said different. I don't think there's pressure different. because he knows that his, his job, there's more facets to his job than objectively just making top four. That's, what, that's the-, the point I'm making. Trust the process, and the process is four or five. No, years. no, no. We don't oh, do that shit. We're not. We're not Arsenal oh, fans. That's we don't want to do that. So, shall we? Shall well, we no, no, no shit. No shit. Come on. So, <laughs> shall we round up this section? Shall we round up this section on agreement and say this season is a settling in season for Eric Ten Hag? Shall well, we, should we, aim for top four? Is it not a settling season for everyone? Like whenever no, a manager no, 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 comes no, no. into a new club, no, a new uh, club. Any manager that comes into a new club, do we not always give them one year to settle? What's the, what's well, this? You yeah, lot this, 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 this change of hundreds? Yeah, but this is you where football's gone wrong, lads. Right? Yeah, yeah, I, I get. I get. You might not like it. I get that. Yeah, but he could go for trophies. Yeah, Lee's right. Lee's right. You can still go for a Capital One Cup or whatever the fuck it's called. But at the end of the day, mm. you get your year to, to sort your shit out, to get your Our players people. in, style of play. All can, that I, can I just say something? Let me close it off. It's the way yes, it's sir. perceived. If you call it a project and if you don't kind of criticise it in any shape or form or whatnot, and you just like love it, like if you follow it blindly, that's where it gets wrong for me. I will criticise it when it needs to be and I will look at it when it needs to be. But for now, it has to be. Any United fan that's having mad expectations or whatnot, like, it's crazy from where we've been. It has to change a different culture, the football club. It has to do it. Pep Guardiola's first season, you know, top four, was first, it? Yeah, and then you go... Yeah, that's the way same it has with to Klopp. be. And, then... and same with Klopp, to be fair, as well. The, his first yeah. season was the same. It is the All same. right. Oh, no, no, I'm going uh... <laughs> to... He didn't like that. <laughs> no, no, I like <laughs> it. We like it, I like it. Just on that note, isn't it? <laughs> 
So on that note, we got over five k in the building, which is mad love, mad. Yo, league on attacks, man. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, this show <laughs> always does. Bit, bit I'm seeing the army. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. It's me. You people, guys, it's you, man. people. If you don't, if you don't like the stream, just for the for the panel that we've got on tonight, man. I don't know what you don't on, man. But listen, it's time to give the sponsors of the channel a shout out. Of course, you lot already know that we're sponsored by FM London. Ten percent all off all men's items. Toby, don't lie. Don't laugh. I'm on a roll. Yeah, if you guys go on to their website and type in, what you got to type in, people? What do you got to type in? Anyone know? Hmm? No? Please, no, 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 no. Educate us, come on. educate us, please. Come Yo, on, please. come on. Link, link in the description. <laughs> link in the description. The link is in the description, people. You can't go wrong. The link is in the 20% description. Off. 20% <laughs> off as well. The link is in the description. You can't go wrong. Shout out London every you time. You're not even helping him. No, 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 Banham, fuck them. I'll remember this shit for life. I, I've got I was asking I've Matisse got for the link. Matisse, nah, but I, I, watched the I watched the football <laughs> earlier and I we was promised... getting disrespected. Grizz was like, listen, if you don't pot this in, you can go home or someone's going we... home. Uh, we might have lost our sponsors. We might have lost our sponsors. We promised ride or die, man. Look at these. These guys just <laughs> left me alone. Turkish is busy taking pictures in Orlando. To be honest, you know you should have done? Grizz, you should have said, you know when the artist won't sing their song because they get the crowd to sing it for them? Should have said, should have said, in the chat listen you tell me the discount code I you know the discount shit. code people you, tell man, me. you already know the discount code the link's in the description <laughs> fm london big up fm london every time 10 percent off if you mention something to do with the big six blah blah you know how it works man come on I swear, I swear sorry, you, you guys are veterans man you guys are veterans sorry. people <laughs> listen boogie man asked if lee gull is still an arsenal fan of course he is arsenal yeah, yeah i'm it's on loan city this it's season in the again though name. they renewed it's my loan name. for this season so exactly I'm, I'm on loan to city exactly but listen oh, what we got okay. from saeed is man united there's good vibes there's positive vibes you know what i mean he ain't about to proclaim we've won the league and all this business um, he's keeping it real, yeah. Until and they spank Leeds five, and then they'll start then, singing yeah. again. <laughs> exactly, exactly. No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm in. I'm in a WhatsApp group chat. Yeah, with obviously Grizz and Said. You know Ty and Lee knows Ty. Yeah, that runs Trafford Tunnel, and obviously I'm part of that behind the scenes. Yeah. So there's five United fans in that group chat. I'm not gonna lie. When you when you're in a group chat on WhatsApp and Man United are winning, it's mad what you see. It is mad. We are back, got said multiple times, and I'm not Let, yeah, I'm yeah. not lying, bro. Yeah. We are back, got screamed. But then after, mm. what are you challenging for? Where are you finishing? Then they're like, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. But I get it. It's pre-season, isn't it? It's of course it is. But we're going to stick with you, Dax. Man City, um, a few outs, a few ins, a bit of a, a, bit of a mini, mini revamp about the squad. Um I think we spoke about Sterling, innit, people? We, I think the last yeah, show you we did, spoke you did Sterling. Last yeah. two weeks, I think we have to be fair. Yeah, yeah. So since then, what are we saying? Kukurella on, on his way in because Zinchenko finally looks like he's going to Arsenal. Yes, um, are you gutted about that? Are you okay with that? You know what it is? There's, there's like, I'm not gutted with Zinchenko leaving. I'm not gutted with Sterling leaving. Um, Zinchenko more. Zinchenko was a fan favourite. Um, and you know what? When I saw it, it was always on 20 grand a week. So I kind of get why he's leaving slightly. But they, they, like, we wish them well. Um, but the thing is at the moment we have to, when, when Pep came in and wanted rid of Joe Hart, we, we weren't too keen on that. But then when, when Edison came in and we saw the way we play out from the back with him, we get it and we can't. So there's not really much that our, that our board has done. If they, if they make a decision, they make a decision for a reason. And until that reason fails, we can't really, uh, for me, I do get the Sterling one. I do. I think. The last time we had an actual left back was Benjamin Mendy. Good riddance. Um, when we had Benjamin Mendy, we would never play Mendy and Sane together. It's too much width. And City fans were like, we want to see him together. We never played them together. And at that point, we had Aguero or Jesus or both through the middle. So I think with Cucurella coming in, it's one of these things where we don't so much need a wide left player because Cucurella is going to be that guy down there. So I think, don't get me wrong, if Sterling stayed, he would have played. 35 to 40 games a season probably but it's not essential to keep him anymore and when you're getting 45 million for a guy that we all know because we've been offering him a contract for two years that he was going to go it's like you know what take the money um I'm glad we didn't sell Ake because I think that was one that we were being drawn into I don't think that was one that we planned 
And it was good the way we managed that, that we said, what are you willing to pay? Cool. Let's go and dip our toes in the market. And I've, I've documented it. I'm right now, unless you're fully ready to go into that center back market, it's not a market that I'd want to be dipping my toe in out of nowhere. So I'm glad that we, we kind of had a look and said, no, nah, no, nah, there's nothing there. So we'd rather keep Ake. So, um, yeah, I, I, I just feel everything we're doing is good. We're changing. We're starting to make money off of the uh, academy, but with sell-on clauses, with buyback clauses. Um, and ultimately, there's summit, there's summit cooking at City. I, I'm, I've given up trying to guess what it is. I think it's going to be something next summer because with Gundogan going, Bernardo Silva, I think it's going to stay one more year. I think we, we're cooking something for next year. Grizz, me and you spoke on it on Saturday as well. Um, Bellingham, maybe, maybe someone else comes through, but I think we have to get a, a world class central midfielder again next summer. And I think that's a once we get Cucurello, I think that's it. We, we have to remember people a week on Saturday is the community shield. Mm. So, like I've said, I wanted my team to do their transfer business early, and it's every time we do, we have good seasons. So, to be honest, get Cucurello over the line, and I'm good. I don't want to be, I'm, I'm glad the name I think got, got squashed very quickly especially when I saw that apparently he said, City said they wanted the club to be a three-phase club, De Bruyne, Haaland, Neymar, and Neymar said, no, it's a, if I come, it's a one-phase club, me. And I'm glad that the board were like, no, you're right, that's not what we're about, because that is it's the same as when he went PSG and took the ball off of Cavani. You don't want that at your club. So, uh, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm just looking forward to see us play a couple of times. We're playing tonight at two in the morning, so I'm going to stay up and watch that. And, um, yeah, it's... Business as usual, isn't it? Ready to win just another league. Of, just couple, just couple of things I wanted to speak on again, and then let the Cancelo. hounds. I mean, I keep saying hounds. Let the guys on you. Uh, yeah, I want to ask about the super chat. It says Cancelo number seven. What's going on there? So just very briefly, that should be a very basic answer. It's squad numbers nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Trent, Trent well, sixty six, Foden forty seven. I do think there's one thing. If if you have to try and back your player, the one thing I would say is if they gave seven to someone that's potentially playing on the wing and they don't hit Sterling numbers, are they going to be spoke about in comparison to Sterling? So it could be a clever one. You know what? Let's give it to a defender because then if he doesn't hit Sterling numbers, no one's going to compare him. But that's me trying to defend a player, to be honest. I think it was something under. personal, wasn't it? Or something about... Oh, is it? I haven't read Yeah, that. I think it was... He, I think he explained that his shirt number was something to do with family, maybe, or something like that. Um, there was a few reports on it or something like that. Um, yeah, there's a lot but... of people like that, like Foden's <clears throat> his granddad or uh, granddad's birth year or something like that. So, yeah. I want to I wanna, I wanna ask you um, uh, one thing that everyone's been asking me to ask you. So don't think I'm like doing no, no, this on my own accord. You can ask me anything. So Raheem Sterling, uh, on his first pre-season tour with, with uh, his new club, Chelsea, um, obviously we've seen the clip like basically where he gets asked to sign a shirt and then there's a Man City shirt there as well and then he refuses to sign it or he says something. Does he say something, lads? Does he? Yeah, just so, so, yeah so he, he refuses to sign the shirt. I don't really see why that's a big deal considering... Wait, 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 wait. Let get Depp's answer first from a Man City point of view. Then we get a Chelsea fan point of view. Come on. Okay, yeah. You don't want too much order. Say <laughs> so, so you want my opinion on it. So, 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 so then obviously Zabaleta comes out and says... That's disrespecting the club. That's disrespecting the shirt. I he's don't think legend. he quite said that. He, he didn't say he's not a legend. He said what legends usually do. Um, okay, but it's insinuating that he's not. Yeah, a legend. no, hundred percent. So I'm legend. gonna, I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna cut to the chase. No, Is Raheem Sterling a legend in your eyes? Well, well, you know what? By doing something like that, because I've been on so many streams where people ask me, and sometimes as content creators, we we try and like represent the fan base, yeah. And it's a hard one because if you look at, he's our, he's in our top ten goal scorers of all time, right? Uh, if you take away his goals, then, then, then... <laughs> bro, you you lot used to think winning trophies was you 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 lot used to think winning trophies was easy. My bro. bad, my happened? bad, bro. I didn't meant to do that, anyway, much. Sorry, um, <laughs> but you did mean to do that. It's fine, say it's fine, it's fine. I get it. Um, yeah, with with him, he he is. If you take away some of his goals, yeah, will we have won the four Premier Leagues we've won in the last uh, five years? No, right. But he's never had uh, this relationship with, with the fans. And, and when something like that happens, it is relevant. It's like, well, yeah, maybe you're not a legend. I, I don't know. A legend is, is a cult, is a cult like legend. And then there's cult uh, hero, you mean? Cult hero. Thank you. Thank you, Saeed. Yeah. Um, 
And then and then there's someone that's footballing wise. I think we can't knock him as a footballer for what he did for our club, but there's never been that connection with the fan base. There hasn't. It's it's real. And look, he's played for Liverpool, Chelsea. Sorry, Liverpool City and now Chelsea. It Demand United Demand United claim Michael Owen. No. no. Do Liverpool yeah, claim Michael Owen? Yeah, that's not a fair Michael Owen reject signing the Man United. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's not a fair I don't, Yeah. I, 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 I just, just, yeah. Okay, the floor's open. The floor's open. Now. I feel I like Sterling like wouldn't call him something like legend. Trace, if I'm honest. If the guy, I haven't seen it, so I'm only going off what you said. If he's just standing there and a Man City fan's asked for a shirt to be signed, well, why can't you sign it? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't yeah, I didn't show some respect for the people that have been paying towards your wages. Yeah, because he's bought the shirt. I just, yeah, I've had a similar instance with. Nah, you man are reading too much. Yeah, you man are reading. Nah, no, no, no. One no. by one. I've been one waiting. I've been waiting to, for the opportunity to cook. You, know, you need to let me off the leash because okay, at the end of the day, Sterling it's, like Sterling, it's like Sterling can't do nothing wrong. It's like he, he can't do nothing right. Sorry, the guy is now a Chelsea player. He is now being paid by Chelsea. You know, asking him to sign a Manchester City kit is setting him up for bullshit because you know yeah. now yeah. the Chelsea fans are going to be onto him. He's going to get bare heat. He's going to get bare articles wrote on him. Oh, nah, stop it, man. Stop the nonsense. Let's be real here. When you move club, you're not expected to sign shirts with clubs that you've been at. Stop being little bloody babies about it and being little, bro, just grow up, man. No, no, no. Man so to grow I, up. I, but I don't Mad immature. Mad immature. But, but yeah. I, I, my, my thinking is this, though, is like, I, I, I get your point, which is why he, I think he's done what he's done, but if I'm a Chelsea fan, I don't think I'm gonna be mad. God forbid, anyway. But if I'm a Chelsea, it's fan, an internet generation. <laughs> no, if I'm if I'm a Chelsea fan, no I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be mad at, at a, a player that's done what he's done for Man City signing a Man City shirt. Like it's like like let me give an example. It's like James Milner, for instance, signing I don't know like a a Leeds yeah, shirt or a Newcastle. Okay, shirt. Like, but. Why would you? This is this is Raheem Sterling. James Milner's Milner's definitely not. That's definitely not a City legend. Now we James James Milner hasn't had the career. You 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 can't compare two different players like that and just put it like James Milner's personality and his career alongside Raheem Sterling is absolutely zero comparison. Raheem Sterling's been Liverpool fans have been onto it, and he's not trying to be having no issues with no more fan bases or no more media. Attention on his name for no reason. Just because, no, I get just because someone wanted to sign a shirt. I get it's that. I get not that. worth the risk. It's I get that. But what risk. I'm saying is, what I'm saying here, what I get that, Matisse, but what I'm saying is, it's not like he's left Man City on bad terms. It's not like, to my knowledge, I don't think I've not really spoken to Man City fans who, who hate Raheem Sterling. So, like, it's not really. It's not really the end of the world if he signs it, but I get but why can... I get why he didn't sign it. What I was saying in the big six chat is I don't think it warranted that reaction from Zabaleta. I didn't think no. that it was that deeper issue that Zabaleta has to go out. Zabaleta is an ambassador, yeah. right? So he's probably yeah, he's, thinking it from yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah, kind why, of level. Why, what, 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 can can I just say to, something? Why do you have to put yeah. why do you have to drag his name through the mud? It's just it's I don't know. Signing a shirt. It's not that deep. It's yeah, but that's what I'm saying to you. Are we are we thinking too much into it? Like, does Raheem Sterling signing a shirt like does that warrant that it means that like, you know he loves Man City or exactly. not? Like, I, I don't understand Bro. it. Like, again, no, again, no, 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 I just think it's not that day. If, if you can go deeper and you go and ask him, and you've been you're a Man City fan, and you go and ask him, and he says no. I think that's disrespectful. No, but there's context to it because if you do that and there's no Chelsea fans around and you're just a Man City fan fashion. walking up to him, then it's cool. But you're, yeah, but you're, it's you're holding a man. You're, it's you're, for no, it's, I don't think it is it's because you, I don't think it is because you know you're being cheeky by bringing a Man City shirt to a Chelsea event where he's a Chelsea player and there's Chelsea fans everywhere and you're bringing a Man City shirt to get signed. Yeah, it's okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you got to him in the, well, well, him in the street. Ago, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's cool. That, so. But if, if if there's if there's no but Chelsea yeah, fans, like, you're a random Man City fan, you got to be asked for the shirt. Yeah, then then it makes more sense. But the video is 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 there's bare Chelsea fans. So why is there a Man City shirt there in the first place? It doesn't make any sense. The deepest thing is if you take away the whole shirt thing. The, the good question is, is he a City legend or not? Because it's like, again, I've said this before, define world-class, define um, generational, or define legend. Because I, Well, he ain't it, any of them. He's a, he's, no, no, no. He's, he's definitely not two of them, bro, 100%. But what I'm legend, saying is there's certain words that I'm like... so loosely, it's mad. Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree. agree. Really, and that, I agree. that's what I'm saying, that I can say what he's done has contributed to us winning Premier Leagues. Yeah, I can he's been, say yeah, that. Yeah, he's been a massive but, factor in, in Man City winning titles and trophies. 
Yeah, but if you're asking me to it's... list my legends, I'm me personally. If you want my personal answer, I'm yes. not listing him as a legend. I'm not listing him as a legend, but okay. there will be. But he's done things that have contributed to our history. But I'm not listing him as a legend. Because I want to see if otherwise... I'm going to answer, answer that question. Do you know what? Do, I know this, yeah. is, this, this, this. Maybe this is maybe this is cheeky from me, but I find it very funny that Man City fans don't consider him a legend. Don't even rate him that highly. He's just a contributor. But then you're getting butt hurt. They ain't signing shirts. Like which one is? Hey, it? Can, I just, can I just? Oh, I'm not getting in, butt hurt. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying it's in general, it just doesn't America. make. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, somebody, but did we have other fan bases wait, wait, wait. got back hurt? Come about. On, so, on, guys. Somebody so. said that this happened in America, so it isn't it an event in yeah, America? Yeah? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then I think it's out of order then, and that's my final answer on it. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> no, that guy in America. That guy in America. <laughs> no, you're taking the Manchester City or Raheem Sterling live. The point. It's a point. Yeah. What? Wait. Point. What's the point? What's Listen the point? to the point. point is, he's Lee, never seen, may never have seen Raheem Sterling play live. Not no, man, I'm not hearing all this, this man. Area, oh, and he lives around the corner and he's bringing his shirt. Sign nah, your shirt, nah, nah, man. Nah, all nah, I'm saying, nah, man. man. My, my, thing, my thing is this, bro. Lee, you're still a city fan. Stop it. Stop it. I'm on loan. I'm on loan. My thing is this, bro. Like, Man City fans, I will never tell a Man City fan what to feel in it. Like, if they don't say he's a legend, then they don't feel he's a legend. We can on the show. On the show, we can. But what what I'm saying is, if I was a man, if I was a Man City fan, I wouldn't see why I wouldn't consider him a legend. When you look at what he's done at Man City, when you look at the amount of goals he's scored, when you look at when you look at the amount of impact he's had at the club, the number of appearances, the level he's performed at throughout his stint there, well, whilst Pep was there, I'm I'm thinking he's taken a lot of boxes that in that in other clubs would would warrant. Legend status, would it not? Told me the, st- the Sterling care, the Sterling care. I don't think he even cares, man. I think Daps, he doesn't give I think Daps gave, made a very good point when he said, legends are not only what you do on the pitch, but the connection with the fan base is mm. so important. Before, Otherwise, you're just a cult hero or you're, I don't know what the, what, what something less than a legend is, but he, he's never had that connection with the fan base that you need to be. I think that's part and parcel of being oh, the leg- comment. Look, let's that's be real. Correct. The comments love everything Steve says, yeah, right, rightly so. Steve spoke on Sterling. He said he's never had this connection with the fans. It, it's true, he isn't. And he, and he never had that in the as well. But we that's, can't never had that as a player. He's still yeah. a good player, but it's just that connection's never been there. It's what it is. That's fair. But when also, Steve it, when Steve said it in the chat, I said, fair enough. Like, but also, I don't think one action should change your opinion on Sterling. That's right. Is that is that a fair comment? Because, to make? because if it does, I mean, then I don't think you really liked him in the first place. To be honest, there you, you know go. what? Exactly. You know what? I, I'll be honest. And Lee won't like this because I know he's the biggest Mares fan. But after we won the uh, the FA Cup against against Watford, the season we did the domestic treble, I was staying in the hotel opposite, and the city players stayed there and had an after party. They had their section uh, separate function room, but Mares came out of it and was sat in this kitchen area with three or four of his bedrooms. And I saw a couple of City fans go over and try and speak to him. And he, he waved him away. And I'm not going to lie to you. It took me a few years to kind of like, because I was like, that's shit, bro. You've just won a domestic treble. You've brought yourself into the public domain. If people want to come and celebrate, because don't wave him away. I thought it was a bit shit, but mm. yeah, I you know, agree. He could, at the yeah, same agree, time, man. though, at the Look same time, he could have been now, having man. a conversation. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say. having a conversation that was very deep. So we don't know. The, I'm just going to say that so. I'm just going to say Raheem Sterling wasn't even, even though he knew it's his last season there, he didn't go to the title parade. Even he wasn't. No, but he had a, he had family issues because I, I know some of his representatives. Yeah, even so though, well, he had family know, I hate issues. to say, I it, think... but then that that might answer whether I see him as a legend or not because I didn't notice it was. <laughs> no, he had. He had I, I I actually I actually know about that. So he had like family. Issues okay, well, I've got a few super chats. I've been obviously trying to put up super chats as much as I can, so we're going to give everyone a one minute breather before we go on to Arsenal. Um, and I mean, so we need a one minute breather. I'll you go get, and get a drink then, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, we need a one minute, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read out the super chats. Where we look, look, at, Toby, oh, you stay there, man. Toby, you're probably Toby, looking man. at okay. Go we back, start man. off with this one. Um, Matisse, you can read this out, man, as I go along, and I'll find the rest. Uh, Martinez was linked to Arsenal to play left back, that's why height was stated. Uh, much more. He's going to play centre back at United. Context, my people. I, I don't know if it's guaranteed he's playing centre back. Is it? I think so he, he is. From Ten Hag's coming, is, yeah, I reckon. I think from ten, well, definitely from won't be left. Coming, from de- from won't Ten be Hag's coming, he might play DM. About, ten Hag okay. spoke yeah, about yeah, how yeah. important it is to build um, to build up play on the left hand side. How Man United have struggled there. So I think next brother, be next brother Michael says, "Here's the thing. Historically, United have sacked managers that hasn't got top four. If Ten Hag doesn't." Have Champions League via the league or Europa? I reckon they will sack him. 
I don't no think way. No, I, can bet, I can bet money on that. He won't I don't think they'll sack him. Unless he says, well, I think he'd walk before they sack him, to be honest. Unless he does something drastic. Graham says, yeah. I've been out of track since 2019. If we don't place third and win a cup, I'm start a channel and burn fire. Man United sixth place. Leo, um, Leo, do content with why, you. Why do you? Why do you Arsenal fans care so much about third place? Fourth place gets you Champions League. What's the difference? Well, fifth will soon, bro. So <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point. Contra change, says, dude. "Yo, yo, I got loads to get through." Contra says, "Arsenal fans have no right to call any club fans delusional." Arsenal fans say Zinchenko is the same level as KDB as a midfielder. Wow. That's not it, yeah. Boogeyman says, Ma is on fire today. Keep my play's name out of your mouth. I will slap the thing out of you. <laughs> Zaba was not... Uh, Benzelma... Benelzma. <laughs> Zaba was not talking about that incident, though. In fact, he didn't even mention that. It was language barrier. He was talking about future senses. We don't Be know careful of the really. names, Chris, yeah, because you might get baited. Oh, yeah, man. It's no problem, man. I ain't Sky Sports, man. Fuck that. Uh, CR7 didn't sign Man United shirt when he was in Real Madrid. Mm. Who's going to represent Arsenal? Me and Lee, innit? <laughs> These people are yeah, like the, the half of Lee and the half of Grizz, isn't it? Cyrus says, <laughs> Lee, who is the Grizz? He's our biggest fan. <laughs> Louis, who is the best looking Spaniard you know, Lee? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. The guy down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Say Shakira, innit? She's single, innit, bro? <laughs> My God, she's Spanish. Spanish? She ain't Spanish, though. She's, she's Spanish. Spanish, man. She's Matisse, not, she's man. Latino. She's Latino. She's Spanish. Oh, yeah, sorry. My he's bad. just a nerd in the face. He's not... Bro, it's hot, man. Shut up, bro. God. J J JML says... <laughs> Mar J J JML says... Mar says Mares could have been gathering the mandem for a DMC about chancing the baddie on the dance floor. <laughs> Gio says... Big up Man City for paying homage to my, my club Milan with a new shirt. Champions oh, League oh, incoming for, for City. This dip... Big up Daps. That, history. That, history. That it's right, man. I'm sorry. That is good. And the last one. Julius Caesar. I find it idiotic from City fans to say he's not a legend when he's the second highest contributor in the goals in the most successful period behind Aguero. He will win a Champions League. He was winning the Champions League with Chelsea before your tin port irrelevant club. I wonder if he's a Chelsea fan with a picture of Lampard. And that's why Matisse him backed him the whole show. We'll show him some love. Listen, to be honest, I think Sterling just needs needs some. He just needs some love. He just needs a striker, bro. That's all he needs is a striker. People, people in the big six building. There's nearly six thousand of you family in here. Hit that like button. 6,000 people nearly. Also, as already, Turkish always promotes all the people's channels in here. So you already know their links are in the description. Go follow all the brothers, them. All doing great work on their channels. Go and support. You know what I mean? It's all about family. Mr. Lee, we you saying, bro? How's Arsenal pre-season? Is it keeping you sane? Is it driving you insane? The floor is yours. I ain't even Mary. watched it. Great start. <laughs> I, I'm on my holidays, man. Like I've, that's why I've not been streaming. I, I've, I've done this stream and I've done one with Jez, and I think that's all I've done. All summer. Oh, let me oh, let me set up for you a little bit easier. Sorry, my bad. So I've, uh, I've just been stupid and just Yeah, yeah. Keep, but I've been I hear, I hear that. Date, obviously. Perfect. I hear that. So let me let me let me ask you about the latest latest news. Or someone correct me wrong if it's not the latest. The latest news is back in for Tillemans or Tillemans is priority. But there's this vague report that Man United might looking might be looking to bump that deal. We know you got Zinchenko over the line. We know you got Gabriel Jesus off the line. A young striker or forward called Marquinhos. Um, Tillemans, what's your thoughts on the player? Is it what you need? Are you bothered if Man United come and take him away from you? Um, <laughs> he's a, I like him. I think he's a good player. Um, so screen grab that bit, please, because Lee's being positive. Yeah, <laughs> somebody put that out on Twitter. <laughs> um, I like him. <laughs> I like him. And um, I see a report earlier from David Ornstein saying that we might have to sell players before we can buy him, which I just think is crazy. We've, we've slashed the wage bill in half in the last 12 months. We got rid of six players in January, didn't replace any of them, to tee up for a massive summer. And so far, that massive summer is we've lost out on Lissandro Martinez. We've lost out on Rafinha. <laughs> Uh, we might lose out on Tillemans. We've signed a goalkeeper from America nobody's heard of. We've signed um, Austin Trusty, how ironic is his name, who we've loaned straight out. So he's never going to play a game for Arsenal. Um, we've then signed Marquinhos that no one knew about until we signed him. We've signed um, a striker that was a backup striker in a team with no strikers. And we've signed 
a left back that was being benched all season for a right back. But then, so generally, told... you're pretty positive about. To be fair, all jokes aside, I do like Jesus. I've I've always rated him. I've always think he's a good player. Um, same Zinchenko never really been like watching him as much as I'd watch Jesus, if that makes sense. Maybe that's because he hardly plays. Yeah, um, I don't know, but I feel like with Tillemans, I just want to quickly say about Tillemans, right? If Man United offer there or thereabouts the same money, he's got less than a year left on his contract, and they offer him there or thereabouts the same money in wages, he's going Man United. He's going Man United. Yeah, let's be real with this, right? And, and let's have this delusion that Arsenal were the greatest club in living history because they're not, right? And, let, and let's, let's stop this little facade that there's a process going on. There ain't no process. Let, listen up, Chris. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it is, man. Chris, you need to listen. <laughs> there is no process. The, 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 project, the project Youth, right? Let me just put this stat out here real quick, right? In 2008, 2009, we got to a Champions League semi and Man United battered us in that semi, yeah? Right? Yeah. That season, our squad was younger than this season. Or last season, should I say, the season that finished, or last season, yeah, in May. Our squad was younger in 2008, 2009, and we made a Champions League semi final. So, all of this youth project and processes, how about start winning titles? Like, that, that's all I want to see, or at least compete for them. We smashed the stadium down to be the best, whilst we were one of the best. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, I just look at it and I think, like, this, this whole youth project stuff, Project Youth is Bakayo Saka and the Smith Road. That's it. Yeah, that is it. And what if and look at the drama Amari Hutchinson got when he went to Chelsea the other day. Imagine if that's Saka leaving to go City or somewhere or Liverpool. Oh. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. It's been designed by the hierarchy at this football club to lower the standards to say, oh, whatever well, young squad. We heard it all season on BT and Sky. Oh, it's the youngest squad in the league, the youngest manager, the young. I don't care. How about start winning? And since um, Wenger went, we've done half a billion quid, over half a billion quid. This manager spent close to 400. I think he's done 370. When is it acceptable to start calling this out? Like, people are sitting there, like, we've had Martin Odegaard um, come out and say when the kit dropped the other day that um, oh, we're, we're aiming for top four. Why? This is our club captain saying fourth is acceptable. Yeah, and we'll we're, we're try and go for a trophy. Maybe a trophy, he said. This is the club cap. This is the standards of the football club. We're one of the biggest clubs on the planet. Yeah, it'll it be acceptable soon. It really winds me up. Then you've got Aaron Ramsdale coming out and um, Smith Rowe coming out saying the same. Oh, yeah, we're going to try and get in the top four and uh, try and win the Europa League. But whilst the Europa League would be cool, yeah, we should be going for titles, man. Like, and, and when people want to compare us to Man City... And, and to Liverpool and say, well, we're miles away from them, right? Well, Liverpool have spent less money than I think Arsenal have in the last five years, that's for sure. Yeah, and if you then take in net spend, which technically ain't really a thing, yeah, but if you want to take that in under Klopp, yeah, I think you've spent yes. about 200 million. About and, 50 pounds, really. Yeah. Yeah, and you, but do you want the players to come out and lie, season. though? Do you want the players no. to come out and lie? Because they know no. they're not winning the league. I want players just to shut up and win trophies. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, stop with all this PR rubbish, because that's all it is, Matisse, right? It is just... That's uh, the club's fault, though, isn't it? It is the club's fault, and that's why I call it out every day. Yeah, because I'm sick and tired of this. It's just a stupid game that lowers the standards of a, a once great football club. Yeah, and it's the same with Man United. Yeah, it's not just Arsenal. Arsenal and Man United are both in the same boat. Right? And the reason for that is they both had two of the longest serving managers in history of football. Right? And then a lot of fans jumped on them clubs because they were successful. Right? And yeah, it's, the yeah. same, it's the same with Chelsea. Chelsea have only got so many fans because they've been so successful. Same with Real Madrid, same with Liverpool, same with Barcelona. All the top clubs get the most fans because they're successful. And when you're growing up, you want to support a successful team. Unless you're shoehorned into a Burnley or another club, for example, because of family or whatever, yeah? So a, a massive part of our fan base supported us because we won a gold trophy. So why is it seen as negative and toxic to want to win more trophies? And well, more Lee, you know, can I, can can I, I ask can a I question? Get... Yeah, yeah, there's loads of questions. Go on, uh, one by one. Yeah, I want to say, I in terms, terms of... Uh, uh, go on, go on, go on. No, no, go you on. go, you go. You stay no, no, go for it, go for it, bro. No, 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 you <laughs> stole my spot now, so go. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you being petty, man? If you want to go, go, bro. Like... Just go with it. <laughs> All right, cool. My question is, here, like, what, what's, what do you reckon is going to be the excuse? Because I think 
that this has to be the season. I know top four is not a trophy, but the excuses yeah. have to stop now for Arteta. If he doesn't get this top four and, and actually progress as, as a manager, for me, it needs to be sacked. Like, I don't know why anyone's saying that he should be given no, more I, time. I he shouldn't have been hired in the first place. If we sack him today, no. will this board go and get the Man City number two as manager? Do, does anyone even know who the number two is now at Man City? Because I no, don't know. No, just, no, just changed. To be fair, it's just changed. Just changed. Well, is it, if we got rid of Arteta, would we go and get that number two as our manager? No, we wouldn't. We wouldn't, right? Let's do, let's go back here. Dan Potts texted me the other day. Big up to Dan, and he said, since 2013, we've lost out on Klopp, we've lost out on Pep, we've lost out on Ancelotti multiple times, right? We've lost out on Conte. That's and, and who else was there? there was another Lee. one. This is the thing, though. I always say this, yeah, with, with Northside, hold tight Northside. We've had this conversation so many times. And to be fair, even on Man United, when, Man, when Ten Hag was being interviewed by Man United, I said, no, 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 he's interviewing Man United. And it's the same with, with Arsenal. From the minute he got rid of Wenger, and I, I think at that point, maybe it was Simeone that was being linked by Arsenal fans. Mm. And I said, right, if Simeone goes there, if you are elite in any walk of life at your job, you are now doing the interview, not the one being interviewed. So yeah. you'll be asked a few questions. You'll, you'll nail them. Then you'll ask questions back. And if you're Simeone and you're in front of Arsenal's board, you're going to be like, right, okay, so call for telling me all that. Where do I need to finish? And at that point, say he was, he was third, but often challenging with Real Madrid and Barca, going on very healthy runs in the Champions League. And Arsenal's board say, well, you know, if you get top four, he's all right. Um, and and what do I have to achieve top four? And then they tell him, and all of this, these elite managers are going to go, nah, you know what, this isn't for me. So I always say with Arteta, I'm not saying you lot should keep Arteta, but if you do get rid of Arteta, who's going to replace him that is actually, your board is going to give the and that is, that, that's a great question. question. That is a great question. And that is the problem, yeah. And that's why I brought up their managers, right? Because we kept hold of Arsene Wenger for way too long and lost out on all of these top managers, Right now, if you add a Simeone in there, Simeone is the highest paid manager in the world. I think it's on about 40 million a year or so. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Are, our, are our football club going to go and get him? No, they're not. So now th that is an, an attitude. The question you've put to me is the attitude that a lot of Arsenal fans have is, well, if we sack him, who else is, who else is available? Oh, well, let's just keep him then. No, no, I agree. Yeah, I, I, I agree. But it's, right. it's, it's a, I, mean, I, I think Van Bronckhurst usually should be uh, keeping tabs on. There's, there's managers Good. out there that can improve this football club and there's, there's players out there like, I mean, every single player we're linked to is, our fans go nuts. There's, like they've grown up on a decade of Wenger's lies and excuses and not winning anything. And now I think it's acceptable. And now they're following the standards that have dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped so that they're laughing at Tottenham for signing the players that they've signed this summer. And I'm looking at Tottenham's squad and I'm thinking, well, they're already better than us. So they conceded less, scored more. They've got a better manager. They've got better players up front. Yeah, now he's gone and added more players to that. They're looking at Madison as well, who I was told was rubbish, by the way, by our fans, because Gibraltar guards better. Based on what? Yeah, based based on what? Nothing. I like, I like Odegaard. I think he's he's neat. Yeah, player. I like him. As okay, well. would you have would you have Odegaard in your team? Would you have him starting week in week out as your creator? No, not spot? not week in week out, but there's, well, there you go. Potential. Thank you. That there's says all I need to know. You don't want my ones there, Matisse. You don't want my ones there. If you ain't good enough for Chelsea, who have been the most successful team <laughs> in the country for the last fifteen yeah. years, why should I accept it? Yeah, can, I, can, can I smash the stadium down to be what Chelsea have been for the last fifteen years? Real talk. We oh, smash Lee, that down. Can I, Lee, I, I wanted to say on the point around on the point around like the players' expectations and stuff. Yeah. Like, you know me, I, I like to keep my foot on Arsenal fans' necks, but, like, I'm not really sure what Odegaard is meant to say there in that situation. If he comes out and says, oh, yeah, we're going for the league title, puts so Pull much, off. one, puts... No, what he should oh, say is we should be going for league titles. Yeah, but you're not... But or just you, not say nothing. Then he'd, just be, he'd just be called a lunatic because you're not good enough to win the league title right now. No, and that's, and that's my point. This is why I've been striving for years since this manager's been here to get rid of this rubbish and actually go and start being good enough because we're spending money, Toby. Yeah, we've spent, we've spent about the same as you and Barca at the minute. So we're the top three spenders in Europe as it stands right now. Last season, we've spent more than anyone. And in fact, I think in the last four years, I think we've outspent every club on the planet. Mm. Yeah, so... We've spent a lot of money, man. We've, in, the last, in, the last, um, in the last nine years, I think we've done a billion quid. 
In fact, it, yeah, nine years, 2000, since 2013, we've done a billion quid. Look at the state of our club. Yeah, in the last four years, we have done half a billion nearly. That's more than any club in the world. And look at our squad. We've got Bellerin with the captain's armband on the other day. Why is he even here? Yeah, I'll tell you why he's here. I'll tell you why Rob Holden's here. I'll tell you why Cedric's still here. I'll tell you why Elneny's still here. And all the other dross that we have is because we were protecting their value years ago by signing them up to a new deal that they shouldn't have got. Yeah, and it's just been a spiral of rubbish Breach. that has Breach. ended up with people sitting there now hyping up a project youth. Let's be real here. Ten Breach. Hag's a better manager than, than Arteta. Every team that finished above us last season has got a better manager. And every single one of them, plus Man United, will finish above Arsenal this season. So what's the excuse then? No, this Grizz is what I'm trying to say. Off. What is expectations? No, I, I need Grizz's thoughts yeah. on this, please. I think Toby needs to speak. I want, uh, <laughs> I want a different, Grizz. Opi a different my opinion, thoughts, maybe. My thoughts, are, my thoughts are very, very well documented. <laughs> yeah. Same, man. Amongst, Not amongst here, though. Very, shut your mouth, innit? Same, man. are you? Amongst many platforms, we didn't. We don't need to go round and round in circles. You know what I mean? I'm the host today, strategically, because oh, we've had sorry, Lee. Be political again. Political. Absolutely, no. Lee is absolutely entitled to his opinion, but so are you guys. No one gonna, no one gonna have any counter to that. Just it's, it's a slight against it's you, Lord, if you ain't got any counters. Like it's what's Lee sorry. said is yeah, Lee's very opinionated. Lee said what he says with his chest. We can say it, you can say it, but have you guys got any counters to it? If you have, the aim no of elite sport is to win the major honour, not finish third loser. I have no I gave I have my opinion no, on Lee. I, told I, him, I have no I told, counter I told, to I told, the I told fact him that Arsenal, I don't believe yeah, Arteta should still be in a job. So I, I, I told, don't, yeah, I, don't I told him that Arsenal are not good enough to get Arsenal are not good enough to win the league right now. But top four, top four should be should be the objective. As should That's be winning yeah. Europa League because they're one of the they're one of the strongest teams as it stands. Probably if what is the Chris then? Are Arsenal are do Arsenal have a better squad than Chelsea and Spurs right now? Why does no. that matter? Do you, no, well, I'm just matter. asking a question. I didn't ask you to, to explain my question to you. But they, I asked you a simple question. Okay, forget you two. Because I've no, 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 no. I'll, I'll make a point. No, I've said, I've said, I've said it. Before. No, I'll, so I'll, I'll answer the question. I'm going to make a point. Okay, okay so let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. They do have a better squad than Spurs. I'm not the fan base. I'm asking a neutral question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. No, no, fuck that. What's just happened? I've been done this before. Let me ask you a question, right? No, we ain't done this before. We've done this tango before. This is an easy way to answer this question. Easy. Calma, calma. You don't have a better squad than Tottenham, and you don't have a better squad than Chelsea. Have they got a better manager? No. However, oh, they however, haven't got a better manager. Hold on, hold on, hold. Calma, 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 calma. Hold on, I'm just doing my point. I haven't made my point. See, see, I haven't made my point. They want me to talk. They want me to talk, but I can't land. But you asked. You asked the question. I haven't finished it. I haven't finished the point. I haven't finished the question. How are you interrupting? I know what the question is. Yeah, but you. I'm confused at this argument. Okay, check this one. No, it's not confusing. I'm not finished with that. Ask you that because none are used to unmute it. I'm not finished. Hold That's... on, I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, go on. Hold, Hold on. on. Hold on, one second, one second. <laughs> I'll be gone. Sometimes it's one sentence that kills your whole argument. Sometimes you have to overachieve to achieve anything at all. I said it before. They just done Lester, that. When Leicester won the league. They last season. All right, well then take it away. That's what I don't know. Can, can, can I ask you a question? So, no, 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 I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask someone. No, 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 You said, you said, why are you not talking? I want to, I want to, I want to. Getting on this, and the reason why I want to get, I in said, on Why this. are you not talking? Why are you talking to me? I know you talked. No, I talked, I spoke. You didn't, I, you said, Why are you not talking? And I said, I objected to Lee talking about Odegaard. I said, I'm not really sure what, what more Odegaard's meant to say, but on this point around, oh, do they have the best manager? Do they have they chose these things? They chose the squad that right. they have right now, and they chose the manager. So right. that's on them. That should not change the objective. The objective <laughs> is still to get into the top four. When that makes spending... no sense. Yeah, but that's uh, the point. The objective, know, the objective should sense? be winning the title. It should be winning trophies. I love Lee, have... but I love Lee. Okay, that's me and your team. The aim of is to win. They chose this lifestyle and they can't keep it. Chris, I've got a question. Chris, I've got a question. When you said they overachieved, they should not have been eight twice, though. Question for me, yeah? Okay, it's not question, questionable. It's just a counter-argument to what you said. Like, they didn't... You know, overachieved. They should not have been eighth twice, though. So your and, argument there is yeah. kind of weak, Facts. man. I'm not going to lie to you. And then it's Facts. been built up as progress. Oh, we're progressing Facts. with the youngest. Oh, squad. So, so hold on. So hold on. Oh, so we should look at. Up since we smashed so we, the stadium down. Okay, okay. okay. Listen to the hypocrisy, guys. Listen to the hypocrisy in some of your arguments. <laughs> so we should base the team's present. What, what do you mean? No, but you're, you're saying let we him, should base him, it on their past. 
We should base it on their past. The whole of our stint. Our stint. You judge our for his whole stint. No, from the the, the to club's the, to the a end. mess. The club's a mess. How long are you going to keep saying this? He's been there two years. How long are you going to keep saying the club's a mess? Lee, you're a Lee. Lee, forget the arse of fun, mate. How long are you going to keep saying the club's a mess? Okay, no problem. Okay, we're moving on anyway. I'm going to keep saying the club's a mess. No, 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 I want you to ask my question. How long are you going to keep saying the club's a mess? It's in his image. He's spending money. They have the right structure in place right now. and they go anywhere. away on He's got the right structure. How long? You just said, let Lee go to Let Lee go to Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm saying he's got... I'm Matisse saying he's got... Matisse likes out. Matisse likes out. He's got a DOF. He's got a DOF. Yo, Lee, what I'm saying is... No. He's got a DOF. Stan Kroenke's pumping the money in. The targets that he wants, he wanted Ramsdale, he got him. He wanted Ben White, he got him. He wanted Zinchenko, he got him. He wanted Jesus, yep. he got him. Every single one of these players That's that he wants, flag. he's getting... We've got two really clubs to... We've got two clubs to... So please stop telling me that they're in disarray. No, no, Why no, not? Because they are in disarray. You said about the structure. You, you asked me about the structure. You said the structure is it's um. What did you say? The stru- it's a good structure. The structure is finally <laughs> le- working and stuff. Although the structure should be to win the trophy, win the title, <laughs> go for the title. That is what. Listen, if if you're an elite sport, you don't. You're not growing up as a five year old thinking and, and getting into football, thinking, oh well, I'll just go through my career finishing fourth. You want to go and win the trophies, yeah? <laughs> yeah. If you if you're an Olympic sprinter, you ain't gonna go to the Olympics <laughs> thinking, oh, I don't matter if I finish fourth. You want to win yeah. a trophy. You want to win the gold. Yeah. The aim of elite sport, all of this is the, the Sky Sports and social media generation that have made it this top four race all spectacular. Third loser is fourth, mate. Yeah. Third loser. The structure in place at Arsenal is a shambles. And I'll tell you why it's a shambles. I'm, I'm going to shout out because there is two more teams to talk about, as Grizz rightly said. Right. But the reason it is a shambles is you've got an owner that don't want to win. He couldn't care less. Yeah, it's openly admitted. Yeah, you can stir it all you like. I speak exactly how every Arsenal... No, no, I'm saying this. I want you to rattle your your fan base. So, an owner that don't care about winning trophies is openly admitted. You've You've then got a CEO of the football club, yeah, that did a deal with a car company that never existed. Why is he the CEO? Yeah? What's that all about? Yeah, then you've got a technical director or a director of football, whatever you want to call him, that is only signing his pals. Yeah, unless you're not, unless you're Portuguese speak, if you're not Portuguese speaking, mate, you ain't signing for Arsenal unless we get the manager who weren't any good anyway, because he'd never managed. Oh my God, shock horror! He can't manage a football club properly because he didn't didn't ever do it. He's now going. Oh well, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just get a couple of lads from Man City that I know. What is going on at this club? Hi, this is the third biggest club in England on trophies. Yeah, after Man United and Liverpool, whichever order you two are in, Chelsea are right on us. Right on us. When we smashed that stadium down, they were nowhere near us. They're on trophies. That's what I said. Right? Yeah. We have spent an absolute fortune. You, and then you add all of that in together, and then a massive percentage of our fans that just accept it. Yeah, accept it. So if I'm, I'm serving you up this glass in my shop every week, yeah, and you're coming back every week, oh, I need a new glass, or a, let's say a bottle of water. You come back, but it tastes like crap. Yeah, four times out of ten, or five, eight times out of ten. But then... On the eleventh time, I'll put the price up again. Yeah, it's now two euros instead of one euro. Then the following year, it goes up to four euros. Yeah, and you keep coming back and paying it. Why is the owner going to change? Because you're happy. So he's only serving up what the fans, on mass, the majority like. This so is England. <laughs> the only way this changes is if the owner starts to decide that he wants to win, or the fans say, "This is crap. We smashed this, this, and this down." And we've spent this, 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 and this to actually be the best. So can we start being the best now and put pressure on them? But instead, mm. everything's comfortable to the point where we've got our club captain coming out saying, well, we're going to try and go for top four. Get out of here. Get in the bin. Mm. Yeah, and take, right. take Ramsdale and, and, and Smith Rowe and whoever else said that with yeah, you. Because man, it's man, losing. Style by Saka. Style man, by Saka. Dash him, dash him, dash him. Um, I've got hella super chats to get through, yeah. so you guys are going to help me. Goes, yeah. You know, you're going to help me. You're going to have to help me because, uh, you know what I mean? Like, all right, here we go. Um, Harland, big up Grizz and Panu. I've been watching football. Turkish is a baller. Best show on YouTube. Big up yourself. Um, LFC says, Matisse, did you say Sterling just needs love? What well, at Chelsea, the very fans who racially abuse life at him, scummiest fan base. Mm. Um, Lee, are you allowed to get featured on AFTV anymore? And two, if you can, do a show with Ty. That would be gold. Ha, 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 ha. Um, that would be you good. Need, you don't need to that answer that. 
Uh, risk of underexposure says went to Arsenal, Everton friendly. Jesus looks sharp. I think 15 plus goals. Incoming Saliba will sit. Ben White Lampard looks nailed on for another relegation fight. Fraud watch on fraud watch on high alert for that brother. Peter Bissett, um, cousin of Luther Blissett. Yeah, that one. Luther Blissett, you know, yeah. wow. <laughs> 2002, 2008, 2009. The football landscape was completely different. Two years ago, we had three or four players we could see with the future at club. Now we have a good player. Pool of players, cheer up, Lee. How many of them were world class? None of them. We've done nearly four hundred million. Lee, he's got Tobriel, everything he wanted. Tobriel TV says Lee, it's negative the way you speak. We should be winning title, but the level we are currently, the boys understand the next thing is to get top four and cup. Let's all go, go watch go. YouTube. Lee, would you come back. in and get this for? All? Yeah, we're not going to read out. <laughs> we're not going to read out uh, if you're going to abuse people. <laughs> all right, here we go. Spiral rubbish ways. Phil Jones currently every club has dead walk fact. Of course, the, the of, of course, we should win prof, trophies. If we don't win trophies this year, um, Mikel Arteta could go. Why don't you uplift AFC through tough times? Who are who are you uplifting? Your own fans? Question mark. The voice of facts. Big up the right army. Arteta out. Toby, you keep talking all hype about Arsenal. You have elite manager and your players with your chest. What trophies will Spurs be winning? Because you have zero excuses this season. <laughs> la, 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 la. Hold that bitch. Shut up. <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. Less of that. 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 He's right, though. Because the way you just gun, gun yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. I love you my expectations for Spurs. Yeah. Yeah. Lee, you, you sure, Lee, surely you have a, a, a return for a rebuttal for Toby for saying that. Because if he's speaking, speak, okay, you agree with his opinions on your club. But you cannot tell me Conte doesn't have to deliver over at Spurs then. Conte will win a trophy before Arteta does. Yeah, and I know Arteta's won one at Arsenal, which ironically, okay. when people say Rome weren't built in a day, because there's a lot of people been saying that, he actually won a trophy with Unai Emery's team after six months. I'm going to lose super, I'm gonna lose more Super Chats. We keep, we, we keep we remember that, people. We remember that. Arteta picked Arsenal at ninth half season and finished eighth, won the FA Cup, something only never won at United. The second eight place finishes overstated considering he picked the team at a lower position. <laughs> Have I missed any more guys while I've been on the thing? In the no, chat? I don't think so. Okay, let me know. All right, Chelsea. Matisse, what are you talking about? Uh, Kunde chat. Back in for Kunde. Yeah. Looks like Nathan Ake is not moving. Kunde is coming on. Um, again, but are you gonna again? Are you gonna get picked by Barca? Talk to us. Yeah, to Toby wants to talk about how Harry Winks hasn't hasn't found a new club yet, and uh, maybe Emerson Royale, Chicken you, Royale. Do you agree with me? You actually agree with me with this Kunde thing, so I don't know why you're doing it. <laughs> you agree with me. It's taken them like a gazillion years to get this deal done. Sign them all shut up already, man. Fuck you know. Oh yeah, I, I agree with Toby. To be fair, I mean it, it is boring. Um, we're still trying to do this Kunde thing. Now Barcelona are in the mix again. So it's Chelsea versus Barcelona. At the end of the day, I just I just want us to just hurry up and get the deal done. We put our 55 million bid in. Um, if Barca don't match it, we go get the player. Personal terms have been done for a year. That's your second centre back. Move on. Do you know what I mean? I'm hoping that it's two centre backs and we move on to other positions. We need to we need to get rid. I, everybody's excited about incomings. Cool. I want to see Marcus Alonso pack his bags. I want to see him catching a flight. I want to see him, you know, packing that toothbrush. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> saying goodbyes, waving, doing all those things you need to do. I want to see Barkley, do you know what I'm saying? Picking up his, his belongings and, and heading out the door. Do you know what I mean? Taking his lock, lock and key. Same goes for Batshuayi. There's so many players that I just mm. want to see step in outside the Cobham doors and just go and do your career elsewhere. Don't, don't be taking any more wage from us. Werner as well is on a high wage. Todd Bowie wants to change the wage structure because Abramovich has obviously been paying some of these brothers a bit too much money. So, yeah, we just, we just, I, I just want to see just really the business wrapped up. We're playing today against Charlotte. I didn't get to see the Club, Club America game in full. Um, but yeah, for me, it's just get the targets in and then I can assess where we are as a team going into the new season. I don't know how... Are you getting Kunde or uh, Barcelona? Because they're getting their lever. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Yeah, the second lever, bro. They keep pulling levers. This is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> bro, I don't know what's crazy, going on. Man. I spoke I to know a Barca many... fan. Bro, yeah, this is, it's, yeah. it's mad. They just... No, no one understands how they're signing these players, but it is what it is. Um, they sold off their, it... TV, their TV rights. They sold yeah, off TV yeah, rights. 400 yeah, million. Like, 400 yeah. million. Yeah. yeah. That's only 15%. But my thing is, is that they're buying players when they owe players money. They owe PK yeah. money. They owe Busquets money. They owe De Jong money. They owe, owe all these guys money. Yeah. Instead of paying them back, it's like your mate owing you money, and then you, you see him playing red or black at the casino. Yeah. That's what that's what this is. <laughs> they owe they, they owe people the money. 
the shot. You know what I mean? Bro, it's nuts. Mm. Yeah, bro, that's the one. The K, the blue, the uh, what is it? The blackberry one. Yeah, that's the bro. black. Yeah, man. Bro, don't trigger me, man. man. It's happening. It's pitches in clubs with bottles is even worse. And you're like, and what? the thing is with Barcelona is they can't even afford to do proper promo as well. They got players yeah. being announced with you know these disgusting, dirty. Rubbish quality pictures. It's iPhones just on like, the beach and all of that. Oh, when it when no, it's, 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 it's <laughs> the competition is it's, it's the heritage. They yeah, but, yeah, but you know what? They're, they're rebuild. They they're, league, does he's, yeah, has their he's rebuild is going to lot quicker than Arteta's. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> been trust, there trust the process, bro. He's got the lead of the rest. Yeah. Man. Did you see Levin Dusk on Malaga Beach? Did you see Levin Dusk on Malaga Beach when you were sunbathing there? There's yeah, exactly. to this game. That, that, that <laughs> like, what was that? I saw something about they'd run out of. I saw something about they'd run out of That's W's banger. for the back of his shirt or something. Do, bro, this is what I'm saying, bro. They're filming him on a beach. They've run out of W's for the kits. They can't even print yeah. the name. They haven't registered half of these players. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't know. They don't, they obviously don't have rules and regulations over there, but yeah, they're, they're kind of messing with our transfer window, hence the salt. But listen, it is what it is. We get our players through the door, hopefully. And Barcelona is that kind of club where, you know, it's the heritage. they're still a traditional bigger club. Yeah. So it's like heritage, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Bro, Rafinha, uh, I swear I heard Rafinha is earning less at Barca than he was earning at Leeds. Then Bele took a took a 40% hit on his wage. Mm. They got they got people the doing pie, community service to play for their club. Yeah, you just but you know what? As much as I'm annoyed, you have to respect how the, the size and magnitude of the club. They got people playing on community service, and and they'll happily right. do it. No problem. Yeah, mean, meanwhile, nuts. they're right. They're writing to UEFA for complaining about City while they're doing all yeah. this. The mean, power mean, power meanwhile, we're paying Eddie and Kessler hundred grand a week. <laughs> Call Lee, 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 Lee does not rest. Lee does not rest. Yeah. No, Matisse, <laughs> can I ask you a question? Um, mm. Obviously, Amari Hutchinson's signed for you. Yeah, number yeah. seven shirt, right? Yeah. Yeah, is he actually going to get games? Because Honestly, I've seen a lot of our no. fans on number seven saying that he's going to get loaded. Yeah, no, out. not not in the first team, man. He's in the oh. he's in the under twenty. He's, bro, he's oh, in the youth team, bro. Oh, he's a youth team. Yeah, he's in the youth. Bro, Kante Kante wears seven. Bro, youth team. Listen, listen. I I wish I wish I wish Hutchinson all the best. I hope he I hope he does well. Goes through the system, rises, you know, cream rises to the top and whatnot. But bro, I'm not, I'm not flabbergasted or excited about this. I, How old is he? Fun. How old is he? I got bigger fish to fry. I need my first Thank team you. sorted. I'm not interested in the youth team right now. I need my first team bro, sorted. I, the do the you way man's I mean? holding up the shirt and all of that, posing nah, bro. pictures. I thought it was going into nah. the first team at number. Bro, seven. Kante, Kante wears seven, man. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> nah, nah. That's, so, so that... I want to ask, I want to ask uh, um, Matisse, what else do you need to do? That's yeah. really bugging you. What is um, like? You need to do something, yeah? Or yeah. are you good to go? Nope, not good to go. Um, need a second they forward. need Ronaldo. No, no, we don't. Thanks very much for your opinion. <laughs> <Soon>. um, <laughs> listen, you keep him. Keep him. Do you know what I mean? Keep him. You enjoyed him last year. I think they're him. trying to, to be fair. This, this pushing Ronaldo thing out from Man United fans is very disrespectful. Anyway, um, second forward, <laughs> and we need a, another wing back to, to, to go along with Reese and... and, uh, and and uh, chill well because I'm not trying to see any of our other wing back options step there. They're gonna they're gonna mess up the, the way we play. Um, second centre back, like I said, there couldn't they? And then after that, we'll see who he uses from the existing options because you've got Gloria, who really you should be keeping and trying to integrate. You've got Gallagher, who you're keeping, and Padu should definitely be staying as well as a DM option for me. Um, so you've got enough, you, you know. Gilmore? Lee Barcola, we'll see. I don't Gilmore? think Gilmore's going to stay now. Gilmore, Gilmore go. left. Go Gilmore Everton. left. Uh, he left the preseason Everton. tour. Yeah, he, he left the preseason. He left the preseason tour, um, and he's with the under twenty threes now. So you've got players to add into the team, um, and then you go from there. So yeah, I'm, I'm so, not trying to see no Ronaldo, no Morata. You, you was you were saying earlier that teams need to deliver and stuff like that. Yeah, does does mm. Tuchel need to deliver now then? I want a trophy right. this season, one hundred percent. When I say deliver, I don't mean like because obviously he has won trophies. I mean yeah. the title race. No, no, we're not. We're not going to be in a title race. It's, it's, we, our team is literally probably going to. I'd hope that we're improving. I think Kulabali was a great signing because we mm. lost Rudiger, we lost Christensen on a free. Um, we, we lost Lukaku is gone as, as as dead as he was for us. That's another loss um, from a, from a stature point of view, I guess, for, from a player ability standpoint. So I don't even know if we're necessarily improving. We're kind of just replacing what we lost in terms of numbers. Probably flatline. Probably going to end up being a similar type level team, top three. Um, 
But I want the gap closed because that will show me progress to, to the top two teams. Yeah, but is that acceptable though? Like because you you haven't won a title for a long time. Yeah, but but I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not going to live in a world of, of of unrealistic expectation. I know we're not winning a title <clears> next year, so there's no point thinking about it. At the end of the day, City and Liverpool have only got stronger. Well, I know City have. We'll see how Nunes does, etc. But City have just got stronger, so we're not going to beat City to the title, in my opinion. They just signed Harry and Alvarez to, have a, to add to their team. Consistent run. See, I'm, I, 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 I want to. Come the way I'm... Things, but I don't want to extend the show too much. I know, I know you want to come back with Arsenal. I don't want to say nothing. I know. Does anybody else want to say something about Chelsea under no pressure? Like, are we no, going to no, let no, this I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't say, I didn't say they were under no pressure. I didn't I, say well, literally, you kind of said that. You said, no, 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 no I, I, said, I said they're not going to win the title. I want them to close. We don't expect you to win the title, but we expect there needs to be a race. No, I'm the host today, so keep going. There needs to be a race. I think Chelsea tried and failed last season, and there needs to be an improvement upon that. You, you're bringing in Kulubali, you're trying to bring in Kunde, you brought in Sterling. I know you've lost a couple of players in this window, but the objective at Chelsea is always the objective at Chelsea, which is to win trophies and to win the biggest trophies. Um, I think Thomas Tuchel and that team really let themselves down last season in the second half of the campaign. I think you need to come back harder and you need to be a little bit more resilient. I don't think at this moment in time, you're good enough to win the league, but you've got to be challenging. You have to be challenging with that. I, I said, I said, you guys can apply the pressure on me if you want, but I said we're going for. A no, no, we're not, I'm not looking team. to apply pressure. I want to, I want to see what I said. I want to see what the I team think looks Matisse like. is right. I just want to see same energy. I want to see same energy. You can, you can say same energy, but at the end of the day, Arsenal's trajectory as a squad is meant to be going up. You're meant to be improving. I didn't mention That's Arsenal. I know, I, no, because I know you're mentioning Arsenal. Young players get better and better every season, third year. The end of the day, I only see Kante getting worse. I can only see Jorginho getting worse. I've only just seen two le- two centre backs of, of so why you out there stature leave Lukaku leave. So there are players coming in. I want to see yeah, who else comes in. Question. But I don't. Yeah, but why I don't why see... didn't you go replace them then? If they're on the downward, Kante has been on the downward for two years. Why Bro, you I'm waiting. Them? I'm waiting why didn't for you them go to get replaced. Why you at the end of the day. I don't know why we didn't. We, we obviously have other targets. At the end of the day, he had a whole course uh, case and everything. So obviously maybe some clubs weren't, weren't confident to go in for him. But at the end of the day, we can only obviously do so much business. We, we don't even have a sporting director right now. We have our owner who's chairman, who's sporting director, who's owner, who's doing everything. So he's doing as much as he can. Can I just say something? I'll judge it at the end of the window. But we need, we're, oh, we're, going for a restru- we're going for a restructure. You're not going to win the league by rushing it and making snap decisions and trying to buy the league. The only way you win the league is from top to bottom, getting a sporting director and doing it the right way. And then you'll catch up. Simple, simple as that. Say, Listen, I'm, I'm the first this. person to kind of bash Chelsea in it. And I think, you know, everybody knows that. But I feel like for me, there has to be a pressure on Tuchel, but in the way that I think, not in a kind of a title charge or whatnot, but just more better getting the, yeah better football and also getting Bingo. the best out of his attack. Let's be honest, yeah. like he hasn't yeah. got the best out of his attack. We need more fluidity. There needs to be more emphasis on scoring more goals. This is mad. Yeah, no, but Grizz, though, I'll be honest with you, I'm the first to criticize it, but too sure this to do. But I know why you're doing this. I know why you're doing this. You're doing this to deflect off your own club. Stand, uh, that's what I mean. Look at this guy. No, 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 this is tactical. This is tactical. This is Chelsea Man United tactical. No, it's not. You're comparing. Toby, you see what I'm doing? Toby, you see what I'm doing? Hold on a second. You're comparing. You see what Grizz is trying to do? Grizz is trying to compare two clubs that have been finishing with 95, 96, 97 points every single season. And he's trying to compare it. But he didn't say he didn't say you should win you have to stop. Yeah, cool. you you guys, that's why I said, close the gap. Be, Did you not know hear what I said? Season? I said, close the gap, Toby. So that means compete, but that also doesn't mean that's what I said. You didn't say that. You didn't say that. You said, close the gap. You never said, you said, if we close the gap, then you would be inferior if you're eight points away, seven points away. Then you're then say that. What did I also say? I said, let me wait for the rest of the transfer window to end because we need more players. Don't oh, try to force me into saying things that I don't need to say. I said, I said, the transfer window is not over. I'm not stupid. The transfer window is not over. No, let no, me, you're not stupid. We need you're players. We, know that. we need players. We need another forward. If we don't get another forward, we're not in a title race. If we don't get another centre back, we're not in a title race. If we don't get another wing back, we're not in a title race. I want to see whose fault is that? That's why I it was told. It will be everybody's fault. It will be two fault, and it will be it will be Todd. Todd, everybody needs to pull together and get the players in. I but can, I can the see point I'm making, over, over the point, the, this season. The point I'm making is the point I'm making is is that you're trying to compare a, a, a race between two teams that are getting stronger every year. These that guys are clear, for 95 man. points. I'm now not clear, and you're trying to compare that. 
with a top four battle that, let's be honest, is pretty shit year in, year out. Every single year, everybody's bottling top four. And any serious team that goes for top four gets it. So completely couple, different. Couple couple any, any serious my, team my, would be going for a title, which is why I didn't argument. clear. My, my counter serious argument that mat- Sorry, Lee. Go on, Lee. No, uh, go on, go on. Sorry, Lee. Mate. I was going to say my counter argument to that is, and I know we don't want to spend too much time on Chelsea, but to aid Grizz's point, when you look at the gap between Chelsea and the chase impact for top four, it wasn't big enough for a supposed team that are meant to be clearer these sides. It wasn't big enough. You finished three points ahead of Spurs and you finished four points ahead of Arsenal or five exactly. points ahead of Arsenal, sorry. That's, exactly. that's, yeah, and that's not good enough. And you finished I, 18, I'm aware of that. And you finished, that's why I'm also saying we're not in the title race. Are you in the title you, race? No, 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 no. Toby, what do you want him to say? We're not, we're not say, in the Toby. title race. What I'm saying is... And you've got all the questions. What I'm saying is your squad is better than what that, what that showed. Like, you have a, a squad capable of doing better than that point tally. So this season, yeah, yes, you've lost players, but you've got the willingness to spend money. More players are evidently going to come in. There needs to be... An improvement on this. I think it's a pity as well. That's what I said. Can't can't when the, but the players can't need can't to come can't first. Fall apart in December. You can't the players need to December. come. The players need to come first. All right, just a few super chats to get through before we touch on yeah. uh, Spurs very quickly because you know irrelevant club and all that. You know. <laughs> what about are we doing uh, today, Chris? No, not today. It's not oh, you're dodging him again. Liverpool. Okay, cool. Second time you've hosted and avoided Liverpool. No, just the not... reason why I host because Liverpool done our business. It was it was sorted. You can bring it up, but I'm just going to close the show, innit? it. So, so we're not talking about. Okay, forget, uh, forget, forget. Beach photos. Dembele's new contract was announced on a school whiteboard, but it wrote 2024 on a whiteboard and dipped. <laughs> uh, we absolutely cannot. Okay, very quickly, Matisse, this one for you. Mm. Um, we cannot. Abs- we ca- absolutely cannot let Broyer go. I'm certain he can become a top striker. Already made a mistake with Tammy. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I don't think we should be letting him go purely because we don't have any strikers, really, um, apart from Bashuai, who's come back, but I'm not really trying to see him. So, yeah. You've got have it. Yeah, but Daps, that's not. Daps, this a question not for you, but I just want to ask you for the sake of it. That, Declan Rice is not the best move at West Ham. Thomas Hussey is a better player, and that's not that my argument. Is that wild? <laughs> this guy wild. Is not wild. It's not wild. It's not wild. I've, I've, look, I, I think... For far too long, Declan Rice is being spoke up because of Chelsea's interest with him and Mason Mount. If Chelsea, if Chelsea calm down their interest, I think fifty million might come off of Declan Rice's head. To oh be honest shit! With you. MM19 I'm not, I'm not... says TT Defo has pressure. Bowley didn't even hire him. If he doesn't close the gap, he will have no issues with sacking him and getting his own guy. That's in. an assumption. That's an assumption. Listen, this is not Roman Abramovich. This is Todd Bowie. I don't know what to expect from this ownership. I don't know how they're going to work. Everybody was laughing at Chelsea. It's funny. You're all asking for a title. A couple months ago, you were all laughing that we got... No one's asking ownership. for a title. Hold on a second. No, Chelsea, uh, let, me, let me land. Chelsea are in the mud. They're going to get liquidated. They're not going for anything. You've got American ownership. Shut the fuck up. You're not going anywhere. No more trophies for you. Now, a couple months later, you want to talk about title. You need to, you need to control yourselves. We're, on, we're under American ownership now. Let's, let's let get realistic with Chelsea, yeah? Normal club now, yeah? No debt. Yeah, that's it. That's all um, I Toby, <laughs> Toby... <laughs> Uh, we spoke about Judd Spence a couple of weeks ago. We were, we were thinking that, that it, that's going to get wrapped up. It's got wrapped up. You've got Judd, Judd Spence. Oh, over is it the done line. now? Yeah. Done. Do, you, do you anticipate anything else from a Spurs point of view in terms of transfers? Or are you thinking he's good to go? And what's your comments? Uh, what's your thoughts on Conte's comments about uh, Judd Spence and that what we spoke about? I'll do that one first and I'll answer the, the first question second. So the comments, I don't think he needed to come out. I don't think he needed to come out and say that, but you know Conte, he's too honest, right? But at the same time, I do think people are blowing it out of proportion. I mean, like, not every single signing that a manager receives that, that, that gets made by a manager, it's not like as if the manager's gone out of his way to, to target that player. That's what scouting departments are for, right? I think Liverpool for infamously... I think it was... Um, Davis, the one we just saw today, uh, the other day, yeah, Ben Davis. Yeah. And I, I think even under Brendan Rodgers as well, um, they recommended Firmino. Um, Rodgers wanted Ben Teke. They got both. And look which one look which one banged, look which one didn't bang. So, like, that's the job of the scouting department, to bring players that can improve this team. And it's ultimately up to the manager to pick which one he approves, which one he disapproves. Because... When we didn't make the move for Ericsson, people were saying, oh, rare, tear, tear, this is that. But we heard rumours Conte didn't want him. In January, when we didn't go all in for Adama, we heard there were rumours Conte didn't want him. So now we hear a player that the club put forward that Conte does want and he green lights it because of his poor choice of wording and his 
and his brazenness and honesty, people are now saying, oh, I knew it. He didn't He didn't want Jed Spence after all. The club are full. It's not that deep, man. Jed Spence wouldn't be here if Conte truly didn't want him at the club. So that's the way I see it. Um, that's the first question. On the second question, I don't think the business is done yet. Um, I think we've had a good window. I rated it a 7 out of 10, but I feel like it needs to be higher. <laughs> I want it to be higher. I feel like there's still gaps in our team that I reckon we can address this season because I don't think our net spend has been significantly high. P- people reporting that we've spent over like 110 million, 115 with add-ons, but we've also made back around 35 to, to 40 million. So, And it was supposed to be 150 plus what you already had, I think, wasn't it? In, in the start no, no. Of the... So it was it was 150 as a as a, as a we don't point. know if we don't know if the whole 150 was going to be towards player player um player recruitment. But either way, okay. I think there's still the appetite to spend. And from what the Spurs journals are saying, there is that willingness to spend on the right players should they become available, should a Bastoni become available, should a yeah. move be in place for someone like a James Madison. So me personally, I'm hoping we get one at least one more player in. What position though, Tobes? Uh, left centre back and yeah, spot like creative midfielder. Yeah. That's what we need, man. That's what we need. I think you need for me. I've said it most of the summer when you were linked with Bastoni. I was thinking that was the type of signing that would make me start th- taking uh, Tottenham serious. I do think maybe you missed at thirty-five million Koulibaly under Conte could have cooked like really. Yeah, really I agree. Cooked. I agree. I think that would have been a great signing yeah. for us. And especially the fact that if Conte is only going to stay there for a season or two and Koulibaly's age, it would have been the perfect match to come in and just be that rock at the back with um, Romero next to him. I, I just feel like you need that one solid, solid, like not good, that one elite. Like when, when Liverpool went and got Van Dijk or when we got went and got Diaz, that one I elite. I agree. I agree. I, think, be, yeah. I agree. I think, I think, I think, we need a couple more game changes um, mm. to sort of change the the look of Spurs completely. I think people have. Uh, it's funny. I think the outward perce- the perception is that we've had a crazy window. I don't even think we've had a crazy window. I think we had a good window, but I think Official outward window. Per- Official out- window. outward perception is that we've had this fantastic mm. window, ten out of ten. I don't think it has been ten out of ten because we're still lacking in some areas. But it's been good. It's been proactive, and like Saita has been efficient, but it can still improve. Lee, Saeed, Matisse, how are we looking at Spurs as as rivals for that? So if we're assuming, and I think it's fair to assume without any gas, right? Liverpool, Man City, top two, whichever order, right? What's the other four positions saying? Are we saying Spurs have become favourites after the window that each of our each of your respective need clubs? One more centre back. One more centre back. Mm-hmm. What to become favourites for third? Or are you yeah, still favorites. saying? Favorites. They're not favourites right now, then, even if they don't. No, get I think we need really one. I, no, I think so. Who's favourites for third, then? No, 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 they are favourites for third, but I just feel like for me, solidifying that third will be Chelsea. Right? Books will probably put as Chelsea. Let me see. Let me check. Chelsea, now nah, the t- attack's a bit smelly, man. I'm not gonna lie. Matisse Lee, not great. Um, Listen, <clears throat> top, top them have got a top class striker, they've got decent wingers, and they're, they're still looking to add. And and they've got a top class manager. I, f- I think that they're they're going to do well this season. Yeah. How well, Lee? How well, Lee? Can, can they challenge for the title? Not with this current squad, no. Wait, no, Lee, 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 Lee. Not, well. not not with what they've got now. They need to spend more money. But that, I think that, and I think that they they should be with the manager they've got, with the striker that they've got, and Son, and then Kulazewski, and you know Benton Corp, Asuma. They got some good players, man. Romero's decent. Um, they've just bought in Jed Spence. If they go and get uh, Madison or someone like that, then they'll be comfortable top four. But they they should be challenging n- maybe next season if he if he's still there. Yeah, because then he would have been there for two full seasons. If he ain't in a title race, sack him. I want a trophy. <laughs> I know I know Lee, I know um Grizz has got a run, but yeah, if he wins a trophy, if he wins a trophy, then you, you gotta say fair play. But I wanted him at Arsenal. Mm. He's a quality manager, man. Yeah, but I think, you're, I think you're comfortable top four. We should we should be targeting third, and I think and I want a trophy, man. We should be targeting a trophy as well. Mm. People, imagine when Toby is a trophy, how much energy is going to have? Man. Yeah. Mad. Well, well let's he's... hope we don't see. Let's hope we no, don't please. see that day. Bro, we hope nah, we don't nah, see come that on, day, man. Let him win a trophy, man. Why but, are you so, like, nah, ladies nah. and gentlemen, in the chat, gentlemen in the in the the panel in the show, this has been one. Don't talk about Liverpool. 
Right. Oh, he's doing it. He's he's, we, doing it. he's dodging it. We the can, comments we, wanted it, but he doesn't want it. It's good. I, what do, okay, so very, very quickly, look, I have to run. I told you, look, I try to wrap this up. I want 11 30. No, I'm not joking. We're joking. We're joking. We're joking. No, it's fine. No, the we comments can, we can, spoke on it. It's fine. The no, we can, we, can, we can speak on anything you want. Very briefly, I'll give you one line answers only, though. So if you want, come at me. You can come at me now. No, 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 read the comments. The comments might have questions. Allow it. Okay, so you want me to read out comments like talk about news? No, no, no. Are we grown up? Are we like, I don't get it. How many goals? Let the chicken marinate, man. Let the chicken marinate. Exactly. In fact, it's better if you lot speak your opinion on Darwin Nunes and then we can address it. I ain't got an opinion. I ain't got an opinion. Not a single kick competitive game has kicked off. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. No comment. But people, people. Big up Still, close to, to 6,000 of you in here. Yeah, man. Big up all of you lot. It's been a fantastic show. Boss man should be back next week. If he ain't, then um, we'll, we'll, we might give the hosting duty to someone else for a little while. But still, of course, Daps, thank you very much, my brother. Thanks for having uh, me. Bro. You wrapped your, you your club very nicely. Thank you very much for coming on again. I think you might have a big city. No, I'll leave that. Don't worry. Okay. Get a bad job, man. Get a bad job. Lee. Mad, mad, mad ripping Arsenal. You know what I mean? Thank you very much for speaking your mind. That's what you're known for, bro. People can love you. People can hate you, but they can't stop True you from hurts, speaking man. your mind. And that's the way it should be, brother. Every time, respect every time, bro, for yeah, coming on. Big up on, man. Appreciate it. Big up Turkish as well. And the chat. Of course. Uh, you, man, we're going for uh, that second part to that golf team. What are you saying? What are you saying? Yeah, I can't what are you saying? wait. I, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, we didn't get we didn't get a chance to speak on it. We're talking about certain man. Mat Matisse Morris. is smart because he knows if he starts on Darwin noodles, you know what I was gonna go in it. Don't go. No, anywhere. it's, not, it's nothing to do with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna. You know where all I was I'm going next. Is, all I'm you saying is, I'm yeah. next. All, I, all I'm saying is, is that we're actually playing a match. Yeah, the big six, and we're gonna see if you can take your standing positions in in foot golf to an actual game where there's pace. So oh, I'm looking well, you forward. Definitely I'm looking because you've got no yeah. tech. Yeah, I can't yeah, wait Lee, to see what you wear you wear, Matisse. Actually, no, see, Lee, Lee's in Spain. Lee should fly out, you know, but let's fine. Listen, let me get Lee my Astros. fly out, man. Let me get my Astros. No more. Yeah, no you, more you, yeah I was going to say, no more Air Forces, bro. Bro, my contact lenses are going and I'm not playing anymore. Bro. This has been the Big Six Show. <laughs> love for the love. Thank you, everyone. Love and respect. Like on your way out. Don't forget the sponsors. FM London, 10% off. You know what to do. The link's in the description. We out of here. Uh,